All right, you know what? I'm not going to wait for the timer, okay? I'm tired of waiting. I want to play the game now. <laughs> <laughs> I hope y'all are doing well today. Uh, It's finally here. I have been so excited for this game ever since there was, like, the smidgest rumor that it could even exist. Hi, Aiden. How are you today? Uh, I love this game. I love... Well, not this one, but I love the first game. I adored it. I... I, you know, I 100%ed it, I 100 percent of the DLC, I thought it was insanely fun. I didn't think it would get a sequel. I didn't. But, uh, it's one of the only games that I actually pre-ordered this year. I got Sparks of Hope, like, the gold edition with the pre-order bonus and the steelbook and everything, and I love it. It's a very pretty steelbook. Ugh. Oh. I got it, and it came in the mail yesterday, but I got sick yesterday, and I couldn't play it, and it came in late, so I, it was way too late to stream it, but it's, I get to finally do it. I've done so much to avoid, like, news about this game. I haven't been watching any trailers, any reviews, any, like, gameplay showcases. I saw the reveal trailer, and then I saw, like, a small showcase they did in a Nintendo Direct, and I was sold. Uh, that being said, there are a few things I'm hoping for that I kind of want to get out of the way at the beginning. My, my day's just begun? Actually, it hasn't. I've been up for quite a while, several hours, like six... Yeah, about five, six hours. I was doing some... just a bunch of stuff this morning. But uh, I'm doing good, though. I, I, I was kind of rough when I first woke up, but I'm feeling great now. I've already, like, I booted up the game and I got a big old smile on my face. But thanks for asking. Uh, but yeah, things that I'm really hoping for. Number one, I hope every character is, like, unique. Because I talked about it before. The first game had a huge problem with that, where some of the characters just felt redundant. And it made them feel useless, like the Yoshis, which is probably why they're not in this game. Uh, number two... Rosalina better not be the final boss, or I swear to God, I'm going to be so disappointed. Oh, neat. Uh, number three, I hope I can make the party whatever I want, because a big problem with the first game was... You had to have Mario in your party, and you had to have a rabbit. Which, I don't mind the rabbits. I should point out, I love the series. I'm not, I don't mind them at all one bit. But... Being forced into those two limitations was kind of lame. Especially since, like, you're forced to have Mario, so there were just some characters that, like, why would you why, why would you use Rabbid Mario when Mario can do everything he can do? Okay, yeah, and this is all, like, the pre-order bonus stuff. Uh, but yeah, I think for the most part, those two, uh, or those three, I should say. I'm pretty sure all three of those, I'm getting my wish. I know very little about the game, but from what I saw in the showcases, I think that I'll be fine there. What's my favorite Mario game? I don't actually know. Because I used to, I would probably tell you Odyssey like a couple years back, but I recently replayed Odyssey and I was kind of iffy on it. Like, it's not bad, but I think I've just played it so much that it's it's lost a bit of its luster. The recency bias has faded away. But, uh, I feel pretty equal about most of them. Uh, were there anything anything else I was wanting to get out of the way? I don't think so. Those were kind of my big three wishes. Was just, I want every character to feel good. I want to make the party however I want. And I hope Rosalina's not the villain, because that'll be really lame. <laughs> Mario, Rabbit, Peach, Beepo, I'm so relieved to see you. I think this does just take place immediately after the first game as well. Are especially exuberant today. Someone has misplaced Rabid Mario's overalls. They're missing. He's too embarrassed to come out from that bush he's hiding in. This is how we're starting the game. I have to go find his pants. <laughs> Lovely beginning. Uh, and for anyone that didn't play the first game, I you. Story-wise, there's not really much to catch up on. Uh, long story short, there's a little headset that can, like, merge things together. And somehow, through mishaps and shenanigans, the Mario world and the Rabbids got merged together. 
So now this is what we got out of it. Consider it done, my beloved princess. We are happy to serve. Oh my god! He has a voice now. I knew that some characters, like the ones that you would get quests from, had voice acting. I didn't know Bebo had voice acting. That's cool. It's not at all what I thought he would sound like. Oh, and instead of top down, it's like over the shoulder. Oh my god, I'm so excited. <laughs> You like Luigi? You played Luigi's Mansion 3. It was good. Oh, yeah, no, I love Luigi's Mansion 3. I I would go as far as to say that that's like a top 10 game on the Switch. You have to play it at some point if you have a Switch. I would actually love to replay it on stream sometime. Especially since we could get viewers in for the online mode. Oh, you know what? Uh, there is one other thing I'm hoping about this game. And that's... The level ups, you could see like their levels in the corner. Yep. The first game didn't really have leveling. Uh, like pretty much every character would level up at the same time because it was just like a skill tree. But this game has actual character levels. I'm really hoping your characters can't like lag behind. That would suck. Like if I choose not to use Luigi and then Luigi never levels up the entire game, making me want to use him even less, that would suck. These overalls are mine. Check the size on the tag if you don't believe me. I'm sure Rabid Mario will be fine. All the other Rabbids are naked. I don't see why it's such a big issue. <laughs> Already, this is... It's interesting that they just throw you in. Someone I was talking with the other day did say that it literally just plops you in without any rhyme, or not any rhyme or reason, without any real explanation. Yeah, that's pretty much what they've done here. <laughs> Which is an interesting way to go about it, but I don't mind. I'm a back. <laughs> <laughs> what? Do they all have voice acting? Oh my god. Oh, well, you know what? <laughs> a while back, my friend Jonathan said, oh, he was like, oh my god, there's voice acting in the new Rabbids game. I thought he was just talking about the NPCs, because, like, again, that was in one of the trailers. Do all the Rabbids have voice acting in this game? Aha. Hm. I think they do. <laughs> There's a Mario movie, did I know that? Yes, I'm I'm looking forward to it. I know a lot of people like to meme on it and be like they're like they're hoping it's bad because they don't like illumination. It's not gonna be bad. Nintendo wouldn't put their name on like Nintendo is so picky about how Mario is represented, there's no way it's gonna be bad. At worst, it's gonna be decent. I'm I'm looking forward to it. With our latest adventure complete, we can now kick back and relax, safe in the knowledge that everything is under control. I can't get over it. I, it's very charming. I always thought Beepo was like... Oh, actually, I was about to say I thought he was a bit of a snob, but now that I think about it... Yeah, that's probably what a snob would sound like. Not a fan of Mario, it's your opinion you prefer Luigi. I like Luigi more too. A giant manta ray? Oh god, he's back from sunshine to get his revenge. <laughs> Why does Red and Peach sound like that? <laughs> Dude, that thing is cool looking.
I I can't believe they have like actual voices. I love it. It's just as goofy as I could have ever imagined them sounding. Don't panic, Rabbit Peach. We'll just stroll casually along the back of this flying creature and reach your location in no time. Uh oh. Strike the words casual, stroll, and don't panic. We've got hostiles incoming. Mario, take cover and don't get caught out in the open. Move from cover to cover and remember to attack. Alrighty, Beefo. Seems simple enough to me. Take cover. Yep, yep. Get behind cover. I'm hoping it works the same as the first game, where it's just, like, very simple to understand when it comes to the cover system. We'll have to see, though. Oh, my God. That's actually kind of cool how they do the line of sight. I like that. Oh. Okay, so yeah, this is already kind of factoring into what I said earlier when I was saying, like, I'm pretty sure all the characters have a unique weapon. So Mario gets to shoot twice because he has two guns. That's what I'm picking up on all from right. this. Cool. I do wish the music was a little more prominent, a little louder, but maybe I just need to turn it up. Can I still slide in enemies? Yeah! Nice. I might be able to break that cover. No, not quite. Rabbit Peach is within reach! Focus on getting to her now by moving to the tip of the manta's tail. This is Jack Black as the voice actor of Bowser. Yeah, yeah, it's it's Jack Black as Bowser, Chris Pat as Mario, Charlie Day as Luigi. Honestly, I like the voice cast. I I'm looking forward to seeing how it all plays out when it comes out. We'll see. I hope we get more trailers for it soon. Rabbit Peach, I'm here to rescue you. And there she goes. <laughs> For some reason it's saying he's not the voice actor. No, he definitely is. It might just be IMD bugging up. Because like anyone can just go on something like Wikipedia or IMDB and just change it. And that messes with Google results. That happened recently for a game I play. Uh, we've played it before, Multiverses. People will just go on IMDb and just type in like, oh yeah, the voice actor for this character is gonna be like in the game's credits. And then everyone's posting about it and they're going like, oh my god, this character's confirmed. Anyone can just change it. They're not confirmed. It's so annoying. Using dash, we can jar those egg-like things loose once they're in your possession. You Do I want to jar the egg-like things, Bebo? It's weak spots. Okay. Anyone have a charger? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you actually like interact with the environment this time around. That's neat. <gasps> I already like the combat system even more than I did the first game. It feels so much more... Interactive? Is that the right word? Yeah, let's, let's go with interactive. Ah, uh, doesn't look like we can do anything else yet. Oh, I didn't see the enemy there. That's my bad. The last weak point is beyond that gap. We'll need to find a way to get over it. Time for some team jumping. 
Use the team jump to... Okay, yeah, I remember this. Basically, you can just go to an ally and just jump across obstacles. I, I like that it's not really a grid system anymore. Wait, so what does Rabbit Peach have for her weapon? I guess it would just be a normal gun if Mario has like a dual pistol sort of deal. Akimbo Mario. Oh, you know, this was another thing I was a little worried about. Beepo's probably gonna explain it, so I'll be quiet for him. Maybe? Have been reactivated. Yeah. Time to take cover. Take aim and fire at those baddies. Just beware that this dimension works quite differently than our own. You cannot move after you shoot. Makes sense, I suppose. Here, I am I am actually gonna turn it down just a little bit more. Maybe that's me just in my usual paranoid nature for the audio. But it just it seems so loud on the mixer. <laughs> But it's so quiet on my end, so I don't know. But, uh... So I know with the little sparks, which I believe are the names of the Lumas, I'm hoping the game doesn't entirely revolve around them with, like, their status effects and whatnot. I'll be very... I'll be a little underwhelmed if that's the case. I don't want it to entirely just be like, oh, burn the enemy and then they die instantly. Knock them off the cliff. You know, that's not fun to me. I want to, like, strategize. But I guess it would be fine if, like, you just want to have that as an option. I could just not use it. I don't know, partial cover, 50% chance to hit them. Some weapons can bypass partial cover to hit an enemy. Okay. So is that Rabbit Peach's deal? Oh, that's cool. Do I like horror? Ah, I don't go out of my way to look for it, but I don't hate it. All right. I'm loving this. I do like that they just instantly throw you in. I know a lot of people weren't a fan of how slow the beginning of the first game was because it i won't lie as, as much as i love it it did take forever to get through like all the tutorials in the first game uh, you know here i'm gonna hide here oh mario can't reach okay hold on Got him. Hey! It's been real. <laughs> I love her voice already. I'm I didn't think they would do like full full voice acting for them ever. Just the rabbits in general.
It's it's totally Rosalina. There's no way it isn't Rosalina. Oh my god. <laughs> maybe I'll be surprised. Maybe maybe I'm wrong, but that is still my hardcore prediction ever since I first saw this character. We'll see, though. We'll find out. A Winnie the Pooh horror movie. I did hear about that. It looked very strange. But... I mean, that's the sort of thing that's fallen into... Not fair use. What is it? I, I forget the term, but once enough time passes, anyone can do whatever they want for it with it. Oh my god, his name is Starburst. I love him. I love him already. I can help. I can give Mario the ability to power up his attacks. It'll even have the same effect on his friends. We'll take all the help we can get. Mario, be sure to see what this new ability of yours can do. Speaking of abilities... Remember that both of you have your signature techniques at your disposal. I have a feeling you're going to need them. I am. Another thing I'm a, a little excited for. I, I'm excited for everything, if you haven't picked up on it yet. <laughs> Uh-oh, one sec. Now you can choose between attacks, techniques, and sparks. Every hero has two action points per turn. Dashes don't consume action points, but they have their own thing. Okay. Let's Got it. Go. So I can do up to two actions, I can dash once, and I can jump once. And other characters can probably do more or less. But, uh, I love that we're actually getting Mario enemies in this one. Because the first game, it was all rabbits all the time. That's not what I wanted to do. Whoops. Oh, well. Uh, 20% more damage with attacks. Ah, Hero Sight. I always loved using this. What happens if I just, like, fall? <laughs> oh my god! Oh, that used my jump. I shouldn't have done that. I was just so curious! Oh, my hero sight got wasted on the Goombas, really? How disappointing. But, you know, the, the first game, like, they had a fair share of Mario-style rabbits. Like, one of the first bosses, it's like a piranha... Excuse me, piranha plant rabbit. Uh, but there were never, like, just any straight-up Mario enemies. Like, you didn't fight Goombas or Koopas or anything. So I, I love that they're just immediately like, yeah, there's Goombas here. Got him. <laughs> I love their little noises. Uh, hey, Doom Guy, how are you today? Nice. <laughs> I'm I'm not gonna get used to the voice lines one bit. Oh my god. Ah, uh, I don't think I'm close enough to dash into them. Oh. Oh neat. Okay. Maybe I can land. Oh, this is actually a horrible spot to be in. Whoops. Doing good? Currently enjoying your 10-day holiday. Nice. What holiday is it? Other than, you know, Halloween. Got him. Uh, can Rabbit Peach do anything else? Ah, oh, no one's in my range. That sucks. Oh. 
bonk. Right, and then we can just come over here and wipe out the last guy, right? I wonder if I could just hit him from, like, just over this. Okay, so I do still have to take angles into consideration. Uh, that could be worked around. I'll be fine. Got him. Play again. I no thank you, game. I I'd like to continue the story. It's 100 percent Rosalina. Son of a bitch. Ah. I was hoping it would be someone original. I don't hate Rosalina, by the way. I just really didn't want her to be the villain. Not a Doom guy. I mean, some channels just have different rule sets. Some people are bothered by different things. It happens. I'd prefer not to go into it, though. I don't really want to trash on anyone else. Welcome, Mario and Rabbit Peach. It is fortunate that you are unharmed. Your safety is critical to our mission. Genie? Hey, hello. Remember me? The entity who created you? I'm alive, too. Okay, so this takes place, like, well after the first game, I, I think. Also fortuitous, but with a critical success factor that is lower in comparison by 31.732193%. <laughs> Forgive Jeannie here for her arrogance, everyone. As the ship's new artificial intelligence, she just became self-aware yesterday. Obviously, I have a lot more testing to do, but seeing as how we're in an emergency situation here, I, uh... I wonder if I just immediately get access to all these characters, <laughs> the voices. You can vibe for ten, ten days straight. I hope you enjoy it, Doom Guy. Interesting. It appears that this creature is equal parts rabid and luma. It contains a massive amount of harnessable energy. T posing as a rabid, by the way. <laughs> I suspect there are more of them scattered throughout the galaxy, though without more data, the exact number cannot be determined. Hmm. <gasps> How could this have happened? Rosalina would have never allowed this. Wow, I wonder whatever happened to Rosalina. She's in trouble because of Cursa. Maybe it's not her? I don't know. Cursa is conquering the galaxy using a corruptive energy called Darkness. I can pinpoint the epicenter of this activity, Cursa's stronghold. Would I consider myself a based person? I don't know. I don't really use the word based a whole lot. That That's a little after my time, I think. <laughs> I'm a little too old to be calling things based. It will take our ship an eternity to travel the but, distance. Uh, I mean, I like myself. And the stronghold. Oh, shit. Thank you, Doom Guy. I mean, hey, if I'm good enough for you, that's what matters. However, using a purified form of darkness energy, we could create a series of warp tunnels that would make such travel almost instantaneous. Just what I was about to suggest to our friend here. Hmm, what do we call your kind? Aha! How about Rabid Lumas? Wow, Beepo, how original. Such an imaginative imagination. Sparks! I like it! Objectively speaking, I think Rabbit Lumas is kind of perfect, no? Bleh. <laughs> the closest planet within Poor range Beepo. is Beepo Beach. The dark mess has already spread there. Not enough data to define the level of danger. Okay, so we're straight up going to, like, different worlds and planets. Obviously, like, space travel was going to be a theme. But I didn't know how far they were going to push it. Adventure may be new to you, but not to us. I expect the level of difficulty of this mission to be... Relaxed. 
Of course, I reserve the right to change my mind at any point during our mission. Oh, wait. Oh, no, that was a difficulty setting. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> Regardless, with the I thought it was just it was just a fun dialogue thing. Just a little smoother. I, uh, oh, whatever, whatever. I'll fix it. I'll change it. It's fine. I believe the consensus was sparks. No, whatever. What matters is we have their help. Listen, now that Cursor knows they're with us, I bet it will never bother us again. Who is Beepo voiced by? I gotta look it up. It sounds a little familiar. I need the energy of those creatures. Bring them to me. Unfortunately, one of those guys that was in like the shadows was spoiled for me. YouTube thumbnails. Uh, I was I was a little disappointed by that, but what can you do? You know. I won't take it away from y'all, though. I, I, in case, like, y'all... Well, actually, I don't know when they're gonna show up, but... Still, you, I, I wouldn't want to take it away from y'all anyway. <laughs> Fix my posture. Hey, man, someone already redeemed it. My posture's fine. <laughs> Rabbit Luigi! Come on, man. You're making a mess. Yeah, so these guys. I knew these guys had voice acting. I'll give you a refund. <laughs> it's too late. You were just checking on the posture. Isn't this the guy that goes bingo bongo, baby? Put that away. We're heroes, not unruly tourists. Heroes? You mean like the put yourselves in serious danger to help total strangers kind of heroes? Bingo bingo bongo, baby. Ah, he said it. Yes. Um. <laughs> yeah, uh, what I mean is, I've got some <laughs> minor problems I could use help with that thing on our lighthouse. Ugh. Do I have to keep looking at it? <laughs> the sun disappeared the second it showed up and snuffed out our lighthouse signal fire. That thing is a darkness tentacle. By eliminating it, not only can we reverse its ill effects on the weather, but we can purify its darkness energy. Oh and use it I hear a doom guy. I'll, I'll just do it now. Destination. I'll just do it now. There. We must also eradicate any and all darkness puddles. They won't yield purified darkness energy, but they are still a threat. I might not be too oh. chatty, by the way, today. Like, I might not interact with chat a whole lot, depending on how, like, strategic I need to be. No, you're fine, Doom Guy. Sorry. Sorry if I sounded, like, done with it. I just... It sucks because I have everything on the second monitor set up a certain way. And so if I ever need to minimize any of this, I have to reset it all back up, and it's just really annoying. August but it is what it is. It's is fine. Compatible with our mission. I have detected a spark in the village as well. We should make contact. But uh, I don't think Vinny or Maddie are in here today to do stuff like that, so I've got to do it. Or Matt, because Matt just doesn't show up for streams. <laughs> That's what you call those little star-shaped critters. They could have done both of us a favor and stayed home, too. Well, we're all here. But this trouble in the village sounds like a two-hero job, not including myself, of course. 
easy as pie. Let's get it over with before my nano dials start to rust. Who's with me? Poor Beepo. I feel like Beepo's gonna be the punching bag of this game, and I'm I'm a little sad by it because I end I like Beepo. Here's the next step of our main quest. Check your quest, press X. Got it. Okay, so this game actually has, like, quests and side quests. The first game was pretty linear. It was just, you know, get to the next chapter, beat the boss, get to the next chapter, beat the boss. So it's cool that they're actually doing, like, a full... What should I call it? Like, a full, like, questing system and all that. I mean, it makes sense with the experience and whatnot. Uh... Oh, so these are just weapon skins? Hold on. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so in the first game, all the weapons had different designs, but obviously you would just want to use the objectively stronger ones. So it's cool that they're actually just skins now. I guess... <laughs> Is that... Is that noise necessary every single time? Sure, let's just put them all on. Yeah, so the Galaxy ones I think I got for pre-ordering the game. And the red ones I got from buying the Season Pass. I think. I could be wrong. Health, movement, weapon, technique, and then a last one. Uh, the skill trees seem a lot simpler in this game. I I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. We'll have to wait and see. Sneak attacker, pest, protector, brawler. I'll get it here. I can put my theory to the test. Let's see. Yeah, you could just have whatever combination of characters you want. That's cool. Alright, well, I think I, I want to get Luigi in here for sure. Let's do Luigi and... Let's just do Mario and Luigi. Why not? No, actually, I want a rabid. We'll do Luigi and Rabbit Peach. Press down the D-pad, open Team Heal page, and heal your entire party in exchange for coins. This is a service offered by SalesBot. <laughs> $9.99 plus tax. What a name. I love him. Peace out, man. Have a good one. You have a good one too, Doom Guy. I'll, I'll make sure to let that person know that you picked to raid them. Alright, so here we go. So immediately, after all that intro stuff, this doesn't feel like a Mario or a Rabbids game. I kind of like it, though. It's its own deal. Zoom, zoom. <laughs> hey, bud. Hey, bud. I don't want to sound ungrateful, but we do have a timetable on that lighthouse tentacle situation. <laughs> Go figure. Folks have this weird idea. I control the sun and can make it rise whenever I want. Uh, mostly because I told them I could. Can I interact with this? It's all glowy, so I feel like I can. Oh, maybe Beepo gets the ability to dig it up later. Well, if you had to lay eggs that size, you would be in a bad mood, too. Oh, these still have, like, the whole environmental things that you can check out. I love it. Yeah. Also, who puts the run button on X? Ubisoft, you madmen. Anyone who touches that puddle is sent to the darkness dimension. Okay, so they've... Hmm. Hold on, I want to try something. Woo! <laughs> Did he dash into me? Whoops. What happened to us, by the way? I think I got my ankles broken by a bob -omb. I 
I love that they start you off with pretty much every character from the first game. Manage your team. I already picked my team. Rescue your heroes and swap the ones in the team with the ones that joined us. Oh, here we go. Flector. I mean, I may as well just put that on Rabbit Peach. Why wouldn't I? Okay, never mind. So these work a lot differently than I thought they were going to. I thought it was going to be like, oh, this spark makes it to where your weapon always deals fire. This spark makes it to where your weapon always slows an enemy so they can't move as far. No, they're like stat boosts with additional effects. Okay. Yeah, and they have their own abilities and whatnot. Okay, that's cool. I like that. So already, like, all the things I was worried about with this game, like the things I did and didn't want to see... All of it is coming true, and I love it. Oh, coming true in a good way, of course. Alright, so I'm assuming Luigi's the same archetype as the first game. Which means he's probably a sniper. So let's try and get him in a better position. Okay. okay. Zero percent. Oh, I see. Get sniped, buddy boy. Boom. He's just out of range. I really am already loving the setup of all this. Beat it. <laughs> uh, I'm happy I decided to pre-order this game. I'm not going to lie. I was wondering if I should or if I should just wait till Christmas. But no, I, I really wanted to play it. Opinions on Spongebob. Opinions on Shrek. Ah! <laughs> uh, I don't know how much I want to go off on random topics, but... Let me think. I mean, I like both. I think Shrek is objectively, you know, good movie series. But Mr. Bob, I'm please don't. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Uh, where are the enemies? Where are the enemies? Is this the only enemy? Get him out! <laughs> SpongeBob's an iffy case, because I... Obviously, like, first three seasons, great. First movie, great. Okay, everyone levels up at the same time. Cool. Awesome, that's good to know. Uh, I mean, I think it's still solid. I don't think there's ever really been a point where it's been consistently bad. I, I don't think it's nearly as enjoyable nowadays, but I'm also older, so I prefer the older stuff. You know, that's just how it is. But uh, I am looking forward to Cosmic Shake. I think that's going to be a very good game. I wish it was coming out this year. I really do. This is the skill tree. It's used to upgrade your hero's abilities during the battles. Sure has their own set. Got it. So I'm wondering if, hmm, is this a case of, like, if I put one into Rabid Peach, then I can't put it into anyone else? I can only afford health right now, so I guess more health on Rabid Peach, why not? I have I I think I'm misinterpreting what acquire and refund are. <laughs> huh? 
I, I'm, hold on. Hold on, I can figure this out. That's weird. It almost looks like this one went into everyone. Whatever, I'll figure it out eventually. A lot of menus to go through, but I, I'm sure it can't be that bad. Check your new item bag in combat to use an item to boost your strategy. Okay, items can be used mid-battle now. That was not in the first game. Cool. Bingo. Yeah, to me, this is this just feels like a completely different game. I love it. I'm hoping it's not going to end up where I, like, I have nothing to say, though. Because I feel like so much, like, eventually, like, the new stuff is going to wear off, and I just, I don't know what I'll be able to talk about. <laughs> but hey, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Planet Coin Award? Bro, they're just they're just throwing words at me at this point. What the hell's a planet coin? Doom, doom. Hey man, how's it going? Been out here for days, but the concert won't start until the weather improves. That cursa ruins everything. So, <laughs> interesting that, I didn't really think about it until now, the Rabbids just casually exist on other planets. In the Mario Rabbids universe, they've just excelled at interstellar travel and just live across multiple planets. I don't know how I feel about that, it's very strange. The bottom rung of darkness. Uh, I'm going to stick with Luigi for this one, but I do want to start trying out the other characters. I'll probably, like, swap them in and out as time goes on. Like, every battle, I'll just, like, swap one or two out just to try them. Okay, so Peach is still a tank. Rabbit Luigi is most skilled at diminishing enemies by reducing the damage they're capable of dealing out. I don't know how much I want that. I exited the battle, didn't I? Okay, no, never mind. I got it. Oh, my God. I forgot difficulty. Yeah, I accidentally put it on the easiest difficulty. I forgot to change that. Whoops. My bad. Oh, this is cool. Okay, so yeah, they just let you do whatever. <laughs> you can just make yourself invincible. Now nah, we're on hard mode. I I'm I want to have to think. I want to strategize. I want to try. Nothing against people that want to do just super casual though. Bye-bye. Let's see, what do you have, Reb Mario? That's not exactly melee range, but okay, game. <laughs> Immediately counterattack? Cool. Alright, let's try these gaunt excuse me. Let's try these gauntlets out. One, two, four. Oh right, I forgot in these missions you can't move after attacking. Whoops. Oh well. Gosh, they throw so much of you right at the start. Hmm. 
I can't tell if it's better or worse that Luigi uses a bow and arrow in this one <laughs> compared to the sniper rifle he had in the first game. The farther the target, the more damage it deals. Oh, that's cool. Oh, yeah. Neat. I swear to God, if you waste my silly stare on a bob on son of a bitch. Oh, yeah. oh, never mind. That worked oh. out. Fast forward through these ones. <laughs> okay, Rabbit Mario has the best voice. It's not even close. <laughs> oh, excuse me. I just love that he just goes like, Oh, you're on my list. Uh. Alright, let's bring Rabbit Mario over here. <laughs> Still want to keep Luigi behind cover if I can. It looks like Luigi can't miss. I don't know if I'm misunderstanding that, but it looks like he always has 100% or 0%, never 50. Which seems pretty good. Oh, that was it, even though there were more enemies. Oh, you know what? Everyone probably leveled up at once because of the easy difficulty. That makes sense. Uh, I don't mind having to manage the characters. I just hope none of them get left in the dust. That's my main concern. In fact, I might... Where is that? Enemy threat. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, I guess we'll just figure out how, to, how all the leveling nonsense works. It'll be fine. Moving on. Keep me an eye on, on that dark mist tentacle. I hear Cursa uses them to sap all the energy from a planet. Nasty stuff. <laughs> this game feels unreal. I don't know, it just it feels so different to anything I've been playing lately. I love it. Please, it's just one bob -omb. What did he do to hurt you? Explosive situation. That's a lot of bob -omb's. All right, I want to get Mario out just because he, he'll be able to take out two of them at a time. You know what? Actually, not yet. Hold on. I think... What's the furthest I could take Mario? Let's see. Hey, Goatman, how are you today? Oh, can I put him up here? Maybe? Hell yeah. Get you? And get those two. Ah, oh, Rabbit Mario's not close enough to do anything. I didn't think about that. 
Okay, Rabbit Mario probably wasn't the choice. I probably should have gone Rabbit Peach so she could hit, like, around all the corners. But whatever, it's fine. One, two, bye -bye. Out. All right, that should be it, I think. Oh, I thought that Bob was going to get a lot closer. All right, there we go. Later. Yeah, no, okay, everyone just levels up at the same time. Then, it's weird, though, because they kind of lay it out like everyone levels up differently. Maybe there are parts in the game where it's like you can only have so many characters in your party to swap in and out. In fact, you know, that's probably it. Maybe you reach a point where it's like you can only have six people out of, I think there are nine party members you can get. There might be a tenth one. I don't know. There were only nine in the trailers. Okay, that, I guess that makes a little more sense. But if it literally is just like every character is the same level no matter what, why even have the leveling system <laughs> on every character? Nice work getting rid of that bob bomb. I was worried it'd kaboom the poor creature I found. See, the door to the lighthouse can only be unlocked by the sun. With it gone, we can't get inside. Normally. <laughs> Luckily for you, this clever little critter can make its own light. Watch, I'll show you. You just woke up. I hope you have a decent morning. Go I shouldn't say decent. I hope you have a good morning. <laughs> I'm a little jumbled all over myself today. I hope you don't mind. Uh, a long story short, I, uh, I've i been doing a bunch of tests for college-related things lately. It's draining. It's draining trying to remind myself how to do some things. Let me see if I can figure out this skill tree. Okay, I got it, I got it, okay. So when every time a character gets a skill orb, Acquire puts a point into it, Refund takes a point out. Why would you call it Acquire? That's such a weird way of putting it. Uh, I don't think we need healing and health this early into the game. Glide time when you do a team jump. Okay, I'm going to save up. Well, actually, I guess you don't need to save up, though, because you could just buy anything whenever. Weapon range, damage, cooldown. This one's a good one, probably. All right, I'll go with these just to make sure my characters are, you know, like they're doing fine. Jeez. Oh, <laughs> Do forgive me for being horrible going through the menus. I'm trying, I swear. Okay, I got it. So the reason I was so confused, because I saw it in the, the settings... They automatically gave me the skill orb. That's what was so confusing about it. Huh? I wish I could scroll through the characters more easily. Get this back for Luigi. This one I probably don't need because I don't even have, like, a third teammate yet. That wouldn't make any sort of difference. Yeah, give me all my health back. 
God, I remember in the first game, Rabid Luigi, best character in the game because of that dash. Oh, whoops. I don't know if it's still going to be the same case, but we'll have to wait and see. But in the first game, Rabid Luigi could... Every time you would dash into an enemy, it would put a status effect on them. Where, basically, if you hit that enemy, you would just get all of your health back. And it was just, he was objectively the best character in the game. It wasn't even close. Okay, so it looks like Peach is like a shotgun blast. So yeah, less damage drop off, please. All right. Then I want to try out Peach. Whoops. You know, yeah, let, let's try out two characters at once. Why not? Make sure everyone gets their fair share of attention. I love that I can just play as anyone in this game. In the first game, you 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 kind of didn't really play as anyone technically. Uh, you would play as Beepo, or excuse me, Bebo. No, Beepo. It's 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 a P. Uh, you would play as him. Oddly enough. And there was nothing wrong with that. I like Beepo. But being able to directly play as the character is really nice. Let's see. I do wonder just how long the worlds are going to be. They're a lot more open. Ah, Peach, you got your dress all wet. Gross. Ugh, gotta wring it out. A roaming enemy's difficulty is shown by the number and color above them. Level 10? <laughs> Wait, hold on. <laughs> you can just run into walls. <laughs> That's silly. Oh, what do I do with this cube? Ah. Maybe? No idea. I don't know why I'm so, like, amazed by this game already. Because, like... I feel like nothing especially crazy has been shown. It just feels strange. Does that make sense? I suspect we'll need that spark of light inside the temple to unlock this. Oh, door. right, right. It is a lighthouse after. <laughs> yep, yep. Okay, I forgot about to I forgot entirely about that. Augie's fuzzy wuzzy was a bear. His imaginary friend slash pet. They had a argument and now they're not speaking. All right, where's that temple? Jeez, dude, Augie is massive. Look at him. Why, why is that rabbit so big? Also, do I go to these other islands? I think I do. Okay, yeah, so never mind. They're, they're way bigger than I thought they were going to be. Oh, people, my man. <laughs> <laughs> About that temple situation. Any chance we can fast track that? I could really use a win. How are you swimming in such shallow water? I'm impressed. All right, into the temple we go. If I'm a, well. I'm going to assume levels aren't going to mean too much when it comes to, like, progression, right? But in, in terms of, like, if I see, like, a level 5 area and I'm level 3 or 4, I don't think it's going to make that much of a difference. Oh, this is one where you don't even have to fight. You gotta win this battle so I can leave with you, else I'm stuck here. You know different spark earlier, but uh, the more the merrier. 
Here's a tip. The bad guys on this particular battlefield are pretty apathetic. Get to the, the other end and they'll give up. He was able to move around the battlefield. Okay, yeah. Oh, is that like... Is that spoiler prevention? Thank you, game. At least someone has some decency. Oh, that's cool that Beepo just flies around. Weak to burning, resistant to frostbite. What about Goombas? Flippable. Alright, let's play with these two. Get bonked, loser. <laughs> oh man, 10 damage. I wonder if I can land on him. Aww. That's a little disappointing, I'm not gonna lie. Alright, what does Rabid Luigi have? This pet can hit up to three enemies sequentially. Ignores partial cover. Neat. Each was probably not the best choice for this one. Oh well. Oh, come on! I wonder if everyone has to make it or just one. Nice, okay. So it works like the first game. Uh, I should probably stop by that shop before we go into the temple, because I'm curious what I can spend star bits on. This is the spark management screen. Here you can assign your... Here you can sign any spark to join your team, one of your heroes. What a Wow, I botched that sentence <laughs> quite a bit. Whoops. In this area, you can check the power and bonus granted by the spark. Choose your sparks wisely. Each of them have a peculiar power that can help you in each battle. Hmm. Upgrade screen. You can feed sparks with star bits and star potions. Wow, there's like a... There is so much to this game already. I I'm, I feel bad because I'm just repeating myself. But it genuinely is a lot to take in. It, I didn't think it was going to be like this at all. I thought it was going to be way more like the first game. But they're just throwing in every idea they have and I love it. Alright, tax bot, what you got for me? Oh, sales bot, excuse me. Do my audio-visual capacitors deceive me, or do I see some discerning customers with an eye for quality here? My usual customers, they have what I call value blindness. For them, I put out factory returns, overstock items. Still, they do nothing but haggle over price and badger me over reward points. Me, with six little peddler bots at home. I can't afford to buy them all shoes, so they have to share, but do I complain? No. I continue to offer amazing deals, such as first-time Beacon Beach customers get two free super mushrooms. My loss is your gain, but after this, if you want a full team heal, any time you'll need to pay. Any time except combat. Alright, what you got, bud? Oh, that's cool. You can sell stuff if you don't need it. Unlock doors on the beach. Weapons. 
Okay, so this is these are the, the like the little stone I got earlier. Neat. I don't know how much I'll use the items, but I'm not gonna just completely ignore them at the gate. Ooh, I like those with the tire treads on them. Ah, I think we just get a key, right? Oh, you need seven for one key. Ooh, that's a bit pricey. It looks like, for now, coins are just used for items. I don't know if I'm going to use them for that yet. We'll see. Alright, let's look around for more of those sun coins if we can. I wonder how long it'll be before we can get the third party member, because I know you get three. Hey, Frogman, how's it going? You obtain your first memory. Open the memories menu to check it. The bob -ombs roaming the galaxy are even more dangerous under Cursa's influence. Though their modus operandi remains the same, a successful hit will cause one to ignite. While dashing them allows heroes to pick them up and use them as explosives. The bob -ombs roaming the galaxy oh. are even more dangerous. Is that Pelutena? The bob -ombs roaming the Wait. galaxy. Wait. Are even more dangerous under Curse's influence, though their modus operandi remains the same. I think it is. Success huh. Interesting. All right, temple time. Yeah. I'm assuming every... <laughs> I'm assuming every major area is going to have, like, one big dungeon or temple to go through. Oh, that's what the flag was. I should have hit that other one then. That's my bad. For some reason, I thought the flag in the town was like, oh, there was a battle here that you can replay. Apparently, Augie believes he's from the family of proud demigods. For such divine creatures, murals must be like family photos. Unfortunately, this regal depiction of the birth of Augie and his twin, Perfectus, is marred by Augie's chronic dyspepsia. Dyspepsia? Man, if only I knew what that word meant. <laughs> there! I saw the spark of light and went over that big old crevice. over it with that plank, but we'd need to raise the water level there somehow. I kind of wish they went all out with the rabbits with the voice acting, if they were going to do it for Beepo. But maybe they tried it and it just didn't come out as good as they'd hoped. Like, like maybe Rabbit Peach is more grating than <laughs> one would probably expect. Although, I thought she was funny. I liked her. <coughs> Little Goomba goes a long way. If you could defeat even three of them, I'd be grateful. Ooh. <laughs> Didn't react quite fast enough. There better be three Goombas here, or I swear. What did they're all bob -ombs. Where are the Goombas? Come on, maybe I can bounce. Nice. Uh -oh. 
Jeez. Okay, so yeah, she has the shotgun, basically. In the first game, that privilege went to Rabid Mario. Oh, you know what? Rabid Luigi is basically Donkey Kong's boomerang, now that I think about it. Sorry if I'm comparing this game too much to the first one. It's just easier for me to process everything that way. Better understand how they work. I do hope there's more things to buy with coins other than just items. We'll have to wait and see. Alright, where was that crab? You! Can I get a memory from you or are you just a random crab? Okay, it's just a crab. Alright, I killed your goombers. Okay, he means like Goombas in the overworld. Got it. Got it. Oh, this is a classic. Classic sliding puzzle. <laughs> I love how quickly the water just shuffles along. That's weird. Oh, maybe... Oh, no, because then how do I... Oh, no, there we go. I got it. Nice. I don't think that's how water wheels work, but okay. I will say, I'm not quite sure how long we're going to play for today. I figured we'd go for at least, like, three or four hours, just because, like... I want to try and see as much of this game as possible. But I have no idea how long it is. Ooh. I swear I just saw something with red eye. Ah, the, yeah, the bats. <laughs> Neat. But, uh, I'm actually... I have no idea how long this game is now that I think about it. I never really saw anyone talking about it. Sunrise Temple. While its date of origin is uncertain, the Sunrise Temple seems quite ancient. Damaged but explorable, it slowly revealed its mysteries. A secret passage leading to Beacon Town, a mysterious room filled with time-worn pottery, and a series of murals depicting the Warden's life story which I personally found self-indulgent, perhaps due to an effort by Augie to garner sympathy. That has to be Palutena's voice actress. There's no way it isn't. Now, granted, I don't know which one, because she's had, like, two or three. But I know it's got to be one of them. The only trophy Augie won as a child was for second place in a Broadworth eating contest. Hey, I mean, that's something to be proud of. Nothing wrong with second place. Okay, well, this one's all Goombas. Let's see. Wow, that's a lot of Goombas. Oh, and one Shy Guy looking enemy. Got it. Ah! Uh, is there anyone we haven't tried? No, we've tried all the characters at this point. I think for sure Peach, just because of her shotgun. And then probably Rabid Mario, just for his melee moves, because, I mean, I gotta run up on the Goombas anyway. Oh, you know what? This one will work great on Rabbit Mario because everyone's going to be hitting him. Nice. I do wish there weren't so many loading screens, but I guess they're not quite as long as... Like, maybe that's a bit dramatic and they're really just not that bad, but they do seem a little lengthy. 
Let me see if I can get an angle where I can get all of these guys. Hmm. Alright, I got an idea. Hit these three. And then we do this. Goomba genocide. Oh my god. <laughs> Armor so strong. Alright, let's see. I think we just straight up beat this guy up, right? Actually. Nice. Yep, and now if they get close. Okay. I'm kind of picking up on it. Already, I'm getting my big wish of, like, the characters feeling unique. Dude, I feel like this is going to be one of those games where it's like... I come back and play it every couple months or years. Uh, I think we just pass it on. Oh, he didn't re redirect it. Okay, so he only redirects melee then, I guess. All right, so let me think. Rabbit... Well, no, yeah, I guess they're pretty much the same personalities they had in the first game. Rabbit Mario is just, like... I don't want to say overly Italian, but, like... Not, like, Italian Italian, but, like, Brooklyn Italian. Like, old Mario Super Show Mario. Uh, Rabbit Luigi is more of a goofball than he is a coward, and then Rabbit Peach is, of course, like the Twitters and Instagrams. I guess nowadays the TikToks as well, but maybe I don't know. <laughs> Damn, at age ten. Poor Augie just gets shown up by his brother. I hope it's revealed that, like, they don't hate each other. That'd be so sad. The ocean is said to have been formed by the tears of Perfectus' hairdressers, who wept with joy while brushing his golden mane. I really hope that him and his brother have a good relationship. Two days for the dough to rise, eight hours to knead, and after licking the cinnamon glaze off, Augie tosses it aside. Cinnamon glaze on a pretzel? Huh. Alright, so it looks like shops are the same no matter what in the world. Hmm. Oh, this is what coins are for. Got it. Also, Rabbit Mario. I thought Peach was the tank, but apparently not. Eh, yeah, sure, our coins aren't really important right now. And I want to use Rabbit Mario for a bit. Augie's first job was to help sailors in distress. This Noah is called Sensor of the Seas. Oh boy. Very pretty looking murals, though. Honestly, the Lumas look pretty good with the whole rabbit face. I kind of love it. Yeah, I'm not going in there. Bye, Luma. Bye, little spark. Bye, bye. Hurry, we've got to go after that spark of light. 
Indeed. Without the spark, we will not be able to enter the lighthouse. I can't hear anything else now. I I thought for half a second about it, realized it sounded like Palutena, and that is all I hear now. Huh? It's Jeez. impossible. That is far from the only <laughs> to thing hear anything else. That poor Obviously, defeating the Darkmas Tentacle will also provide us with one of two purified Darkmas energy crystals we need. However, this creature's higher density of Darkmas energy, as compared to Puddles, means our enemies will be more formidable. Hmm. Ah, that's what I get for buying you an off-the-shelf AI empathy module to save time. I feel like... Beepo sounds kind of familiar, but I can't put my finger on it. Hmm. I tried looking up the IMDB page, but I don't think it's fully updated with everyone. Oh my god, he's putting on a chase! Oh, never mind. That's just red smoke from the side. <laughs> I thought he was just irradiating a pinkish red glow, and he was chasing me. That's kind of nice, though, that it's just sort of on the edge of the screen, so you know where they are. Alright, let's see. Goombas, Shy Guy. Doesn't seem too bad. What are these things actually called? Stooges, of course. Oh, poor Goombas. No strengths, only weaknesses to frostbite, burning, oozing, shocking, splashing, and gusts. Poor fellas. Hello. Okay. Let me think. What? So I think Peach... We use her to take out all these Goombas, right? Oh, but we can't move after shooting, so we have to keep that in mind. Hmm. Maybe this wasn't the best team to go with, but I'm going to try and make it work anyway. Wow, Peach can barely move anywhere on her own. Alright, we're just gonna throw her down somewhere and hope for the best. Yeah, just get rid of them. Rabbit Mario, I'm thinking I might be able to reach those, but I can't hit the stooge. Hmm. I could. I could try and team jump over there, but then that stooge is probably going to come and hit me. You know, I think we hit this one. And just try and play it safe. Oh, yeah. oh. Which I could have used Peach's Shock on on something else then, but it is what it is. Okay, cool. They didn't do anything. Nice. Cool. Worked out. Oh, I should have done that with Peach so they wouldn't have died in one hit. Oh, well. Come on, Rabbit Mario. You can make it. Later, bud. Just in case it doesn't kill this guy. Oh, I can't reach over there. Uh-oh. Eh, maybe I can break the block. 
That's on me. I didn't realize Peach couldn't reach. Alright, just in case he goes for Rabbit Mario, we'll just do this. Yeah, not the best combination of characters. I think Luigi would have been better here. Just to snipe at him. But... I mean, hey, it's part of the learning experience, you know? I kind of got lucky that he didn't do anything to me. <laughs> I wonder if I'll have to grind at any point. I doubt it. Okay, cool. And they also automatically complete the quest. Nice. Lovely. Research into the Warden of Beacon Beach, Augie, reveals a myriad of known traits. Insecure, attention-seeking, irresponsible, impulsive, cowardly, childish... Poor Augie, man. Dishonest, <laughs> but he poor says Augie. bingo, bango, bongo. Most often are How could you hate him like this? Unlovable. How these characteristics can be made compatible is beyond my current comprehension. I will have to investigate... Okay, no, even... Even the people here recognize that he's lovable. I already love Augie. I, I could never hate Augie. of all people to abandon the delicious cheesecake we'd best keep on our toes you know i love cheesecake never been a fan of like jam on top of it i think that's jam anyway i don't know i think i just like my cheesecake pure personally all right i think we've had enough with peach and rabid mario let's try let's bring back regular mario and we'll do luigi as well I love that you can just make your own team. I'm so happy they did that. We're coming, little Luma. Oh, sorry. Excuse me. A little spark. Okay, definitely need Luigi for this, for the range. Is Mario the play, though? Super effects. They can be applied to potentially anyone generating unique behaviors. Here, the burn super effect sets its target alight. Useful against enemies if you take care to avoid their resistances and exploit their weaknesses. For example, Scoper is weak against burn. The putting it here as a pyro star. Okay, yeah. Kind of picked up on a lot of that already, but I appreciate the advice. Let's roll with Mario, just because the double shot is probably going to be really nice. Let's go. Uh, all right. So it looks like this is more like, oh, we clear out the area and that does what, what we need to do. Or maybe I could just hit this? Oh. That works. Alright, Mario. Let's get you closer into the front line. Then... I'm gonna take my chance with that crit, and if it doesn't kill, then it is what it is. Hey, we got it! Nice! Uh, Alright, let's take advantage of Luigi's passive. Yeah, that's a big difference. I love this. I love that I can just see the map at the start and immediately think, like, oh, this character. That's what I should use. Hmm. 
It is nice. It, it's nice that, like, the first game, you only got to start with three characters, and even then, by the time you had every character, I don't know, it just, it felt like everything was already kind of solidified. Like, you, you, you already had the teams and the loadouts that you would stick by. But I can't even begin to comprehend how much I'm going to be changing throughout this game. Hmm. I think we could get Mario closer, right? <laughs> this is probably a horrible position to put him in. <laughs> All right, just get rid of him. Activate this in case any of them decide to move. All right, what's Luigi going to do? I could try and get a good angle on them, but it, I think it's just going to be 50% no matter what. So if that's the case, then I should do it from as far away as possible, right? And just try and go for a one-shot? That's depressing. <laughs> that hurts so much. I didn't even think about the enemies over there. Oh, that's dumb of me. We can work with this, though. We can work with it. It'll be fine. Look, they're practically setting themselves up to get damaged anyway. Well, we can go ahead and hit this. I'm going to hope any hitting it early is not going to be an issue. We'll see. Let's just take him out. And then, unfortunately... Yeah, Luigi's not really in range to do anything. I'll just have him over here for now. Kind of put Luigi in a bit of a bad spot throughout this fight, but luckily it's not like the first game where you need to do battles in a certain amount of turns for bonuses and whatnot. So I think we'll be good. We'll be fine. I want to put Luigi over there to get the button, but I don't think that's going to work out as well as I'm thinking. Does Mario have the one that's like... No. Weapon steal fire. Hmm. Let's just go for more weapon damage for now. I was hoping I had the one where it's like, oh, if enemies hit you, they take damage in return. But no, that's the only one I don't have equipped. Would have been real helpful here, though. Alright, more cover. Let's still keep Luigi a little bit back. Not too much, though. Got one. Alright, and then Mario, you'll... Let's see if I can break the cover guarding these two nerds. Alright, I definitely already like Luigi a lot. Dealing more damage the farther away they are, you just get to do so much with it. I'll 
please let me get over there. Woo! We're gonna hope that guy's weak to fire. I didn't bother checking. There he goes, just vanishes. All right. One move and you're toast, buddy boy. Oh, there's still more enemies. I should have done a lot better job at looking around my surroundings. Probably make it to the end from here, right? Yeah, because I can do a team jump with Mario and put him over here. And then Luigi can just come over here. And make it. Nice! Maybe I shouldn't have been so focused on killing him, but eh, it worked out. Got the little sparky boy. I know who this is. Is this gonna be the new girl? Yep. I don't know what she's based on, but I like her. I think she's neat. <laughs> Granted, I don't know why she has a buster sword, but I mean, hey, it works. I remember this guy from the trailers, Giant Wild Claw. I didn't think he would be this soon into the game. What? <laughs> Shush it, Maddie. <laughs> having three heroes cooperating on the battlefield would give a huge advantage. Oh, okay, now I'm allowed three characters. Cool. Alright, well, I definitely want to play with the new girl. Edge? That That is not her fucking name. Are you serious? Uh, let me look around. Okay, what are you weak to? Can't dash into him. Resistant against every effect. Exactly 2,379 health. Sorry, one sec. I'm responding to a text. 
I always hate doing that on stream. I, I always feel like it's so rude to just sit in silence for like 10 to 15 seconds. But I, I always hate like people. I Discord hasn't been showing that I'm live recently. And so I feel so guilty not responding sometimes. Okay, definitely get rid of Mario, I think, just because low health. Probably because it's a boss, we have Rabid Peach. Just, you know, for the healing. And then Rabid Mario just for good damage. Alright. So let's see. What can Edge do, you think? I think, you know, let's find out. Flying Blade. Thrown at an enemy. It ignores partial cover. Okay, so you want enemies that are in, like, a straight line. Got it. All targets within range are dealt. Blah, blah, blah. Got it. All right, I think first things first, try and get everyone close to each other for Rabbit Peach's buff. And then I feel like Rabbit Peach, you always want to keep her behind full cover. I see no reason for her not to be under full cover at all times. Let's see. I gotta close in on the boss. Oh, can I hit him multiple times? Ooh! Okay, he's gonna move every time I hit him. That's good to keep in mind. Can Rabbit Peach still move? Not quite close enough. I didn't realize he was going to move when he got hit. Now I'm kind of wishing I didn't go Rabbit Mario. Alright, in case they ambush him, I'm going to do this. Is that sales bot 999 plus tax? Yes, indeed it is. Ubisoft Connect level up units earned. Oh my god. I hit the button and it didn't do anything. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh boy. I can get a free pal block. <laughs> what is this? Why can't I get items with my Ubisoft coins? It's silly. Uh, I'm thinking. I want to get the boss to move in just a little bit more. <laughs> but I think the only way I can really do that is... We'll figure it out. You know, God forbid I don't do everything in one turn, you know? <laughs> Rail. Alright, don't use that one yet. I think we just go next turn. GG, go next. Alright, what are you stooges gonna do? Oh, I didn't even see that one. Uh oh. Hey, come on, take it easy. I'm just a silly little guy. He did not take it easy. <laughs> uh-oh. Yikes. Double yikes. Okay. 
Those appear to be darkness portals. Destroy them quickly. More enemies are bound to pop out soon. Uh, I don't take it I can heal a dead character. We can try. You know what? Fuck strategy. Whale on him. <laughs> you know what? I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna restart the battle. I, I am clearly not taking full advantage of my strategic capabilities. Okay. Now that I understand what Edge does, and I know that the boss is gonna... I have to do the temple rescue again? Are you serious? I'm sorry. I didn't think it was gonna do this again. Whatever. This one doesn't take long, at least. So that's probably why there were two ways to restart. That, that makes a lot more sense. That's my bad. I didn't realize. Oh, well. I just feel stupid now. I didn't realize these counted as the same battle. Also, it's a miracle that guy didn't die. Don't shoot Mario, please. Oh, thank God. I wonder if Luigi can deal collateral damage. Nope. What a sentence, by the way. <laughs> Anyway, I can get this to 50. Oh, come on. That's totally the angle. Whatever. Huh? All right. He's still back there. Whoops. <laughs> I am not taking this patiently enough. Oh, that counts as an action. Uh-oh. Alright, so I'm thinking, for the boss, if I have to use Edge... Definitely don't want to use Rabid Mario like I initially thought I would want to. I'm thinking. How did that not kill him? Jeez. Uh. Probably still want to go Rabid Peach. Oh, you know what? Regular Peach would be a really good option for that fight. For her defensive stuff. Alright, Luigi, come hit the button. Got you. Oh, yeah. oh, he's so close, though. Come on. I 
I'm gonna pray there aren't any enemies behind me. <laughs> no, I think we would have noticed them. Alright, come dash into these two. Can't quite kill them just yet. I really want to take that risk, but I know it's not wise. Oh, I should have buffed our damage before I dashed into him. Dang it. You know, I got an idea. All right, those two are down. I'm a little scared of Luigi dying here. But I think we'll be okay. All right, you're down in one hit. Whatever, it's Mario. Who's fi it's fine. Who cares about Mario? Not a single person on the planet cares about Mario. Oh god, not Luigi! Everyone loves Luigi! No! Come on, Luigi. You can make it. You can make it. Yes! Woo! Speedrunning through that was not wise at all. Good lord. Okay, so now we know for the future. Restart from current objective if it's like one long giant fight. Uh, that's my bad. I did not realize that. Okay, Edge. Let's do Peach and... I kind of want to stick it with Mario... No, let's do Peach and Rabbit Peach. Yeah, let's get a team of girl bosses in here. Rabbit Peach will buff damage. You'll do that. And then just give them more health for this fight, just because why not? We have the points. There we go. I think I can do it with these three. That'll do. Alright, so now that I know the boss is going to come near me every time, let's think. Get everyone next to each other. Buff our damage. I'm so happy the sparks really are, like, more unique than I thought they were gonna be. What is this one? You know, just in case I play it poorly... Let's get Peach's defense in here. Alright, I'm going to hope you can have multiple buffs at a time, by the way, and that that worked. Alright, assuming it works like the first game, I should be able to hit the boss twice here. But that might cause issues. I don't want her to die in one hit again, that'll just be embarrassing. <laughs> And then hopefully, she didn't do it. Okay. Well, that's unfortunate because now I can't move her. I have made the exact same mistake as I did the first time we did this fight. You know what? Get the boss away from me. Hi, 
Hi, B Duck. How are you today? You are here to watch me fail miserably. They should kill the two Stooges, if I'm not mistaken. Uh oh. Don't kill her. Woo! <laughs> Peach just screaming out, wait! Oh my god, this okay, this sparks the best one so far. Look, those appear to be darkness poles. Destroy them quickly. More enemies. Very good. Already got to the third world. Cool. Uh, I've... I know very little about the game. I love the first one. Uh, just came in here pretty much completely blind. Technically not the first time I've done this fight because I accidentally restarted the chapter. But we didn't make it far the first time I fought him anyway, so it's cool. But yeah, I, I hope you're enjoying the game. It's very different compared to the first one, but I mean that in a very, very good way. Let's think. Definitely have to be careful with the boss getting close to Edge just because she has the lowest health pool. Not having anyone nearby each other for team jumps is kind of bad. Let's see if we can do this, though, and try and get rid of that one stooge. What difficulty am I at? So when I started the game, I didn't realize that's what they were asking with the difficulty. But uh, I changed it to the max difficulty. I didn't... I should have angled that so it didn't break her cover. Whoops. Alright, let's get Edge out of the fight, I think. At least in a safer spot away from the boss. You have to go back and forth with the two peaches. It wouldn't surprise me. Okay, come back over here. Just because, like... One of them healing and one of them giving damage reduction... Is pretty good, just on its own. I'm gonna hope he's gonna try and chase Edge going over the left. Okay, good. Oh, it was Peach that gave me the damage immunity. Duh, that makes more sense. Uh... Just in case. Edge does the most damage to bosses. Yeah, it seems like it. Being able to hit them six times is pretty crazy. I don't know if I actually want to hit him here, though. I'll risk it. Why not? We have the... We have Edge of Spark on us, so I think we'll be fine. At worst... Like, worst case scenario, I just have to heal. Go on. <laughs> oh, there he goes. He's on his way. If I had Luigi, I probably could have taken out that portal more easily. Uh, how much health do they have? A lot more than I was expecting. Good lord. Okay. Is there anyone that can get regular Peach back at me? No. Oh, I have Peach in a bad spot. I can drag the boss away, though. It's on. So that'll give Rabbit Peach and Edge a little more to work with. Hmm. I really want to take out that portal, but...
Uh, I'm curious. I'm curious if I can dash into him. So I'm going to put her in a position where she can still get behind cover. No, you can't dash into it. Dang. Okay. That's that one dead. Maybe the critical will be enough, hopefully. If I brought Luigi, it would be good. Yeah, I was gonna use Luigi the first time, I think? No, I used uh, Rabid Mario, and that just did not work. Because I didn't realize the boss was gonna move every time I hit him. But, you know, yeah, no, I, I definitely should have used Luigi here. But I think I'll be fine without him. That's fine. Peach has the most health. She can take a few hits. She'll be fine. Okay, maybe she won't be fine. Oh. Don't let that enemy shoot her. Okay. Phew. Not the strongest heal, but it works. Yeah, definitely get Peach grouped back up with the others if we can. Probably drag the boss back away from those two. <laughs> Do have an enemy there, but I'm not too scared of them. At least not yet. Alright, are there any other enemies I should be wary of? Just those two stooges? So let's get Peach in a safe place. She cannot be put in a safe place. <laughs> I feel like this would be safer. Next time, upgrade Rabbit Peach a lot. I'm not sure yet. I... I know she's kind of the only healer, but the fact that I can buy healing items... Like, I mean, there's nothing stopping me from just doing this, right? I, I definitely think I might be more interested in the other characters. I'll have to wait and see. One more turn until I get her shield. How much can these enemies move? A lot. Jeez. I'm gonna hope for the best and put her here. Yeah, it's definitely a lot to take in, because they start you off with so many characters. But, uh, I have been picking up on it, at least, as time has gone on. A lot of the characters have the same archetypes that they did in the first game. Like, Luigi's the long-range one, and Rabbit Peach is the support. Good luck. Thanks, man. I hope you have a good rest of your day. Two more portals. Jeez. I could do this. Nah. I could hit these two. Get them fairly low. You know what? Yeah, because with those portals, we're gonna start getting some more enemies pretty soon. So I should probably do my best to take care of them if I can. Ooh, 
Ooh, Peach can move far. I want to get rid of those Stooges so badly if I can. I think we can... You know, here, let's get Rabbit Peach flying out over there. Oh, the angle's just weird enough to where I can't get her. That's unfortunate. I could do this, but then he's gonna kill me. Alright, you know what? Let's just try and break that Stooge's protection. Yeah, definitely not doing too great. But I think we'll be fine as more time passes. You know, I'll get better. I'll get better at, like, using all my skill tree stuff and whatnot. Go on. Oh, boy. I hope these guys don't take out Peach. And I hope you don't take out Edge. Boy, yeah, the moment you toss a third character in, your options feel so different. Let me see if I can get Peach in range of that. Excuse me, my good man. Ah, whatever, it's fine. Ah! Uh, I think we'll be able to figure this out. Now, I don't know if we can figure it out without anyone perishing, but hey, we can figure it out. Introduction. I think just focus on lowering the amount of stooges in the fight, if at all possible. It's been real. <laughs> I want to do this so badly, but Edge might die. You know what? I'm going to do this and then pull him away with Peach. Not a lot of damage, but pulls him away. Beat Tony Tiger. I'm trying! They're gonna kill Peach! No! I wanted to do it without dying. What sucks is that he's literally dead this turn, pretty much. Rabbit Peach will avenge reg regular Peach. There he goes. Holy shit, there he goes. Faded out of existence. Purified Dark Mess Energy Crystal obtained. Yeah, I don't get why they put an emphasis on, like, everyone leveled up. When they all level up at the same time. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think I want to play that again. No, thanks. I, I would very much like to move on to the next fight. Alright, where's little Sparky Boy? Excuse me, intimidating stranger. 
It's vitally important that the spark come with us to the lighthouse. Until we destroy the lighthouse tentacle, we can't create warp tunnels to other planets, and eventually to Cursa. I can unlock the lighthouse. Watch, I'll meet you there. Ah, Augie, I love you. I love it when he says the thing. Yeah. You again, the spark hunter. Not a spark hunter. The name's Edge. Great. Rabbit Edge. Welcome to Edge. Just Edge. Spaceship, huh? Man, they're doing what they did in WarioWare Get It Together, where they only say, like, one or two words. It's very strange. I believe it's time we start keeping three heroes on our front line. Who'll take the first shift? Third team slot unlocked. Cool. I've tried to avoid saying it, but I feel like every time anything quest-related happens, it's just, like, Breath of the Wild noise. That's what it sounds like. Just a little piano twingle. Uh, did we go up here already? I think we did. Up, 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 up. I like Edge. She's neat. I don't really know, like, why she's here, though. It's very strange. Get it? <laughs> nice weather we're not having, hmm? Uh, About that darkness know. tentacle at the lighthouse. There's a shortcut that way in case you hate walking as much as I do. Wait, hold on. Let me listen to him one more time. Get it? <laughs> uh. It sounds a little bit like Jim Cummings, but I'm not sure. What are you? Oh my god, he's adorable. If only, uh, if only I could solve it, that would show them. Professor Backpack, Sir, I love him. Are you okay? Do you need us to call someone? Beepo, this is the most celebrated archaeologist of our time. <gasps> oh, Once we celebrated history. Ruins were uncovered, treasures hunted, discoveries made in the past, not just the future. These days, if something wasn't digitized, it's as if it never happened. He says while holding a phone. Ancient riddles. I am here to solve an ancient riddle. The answer to which has eluded explorers for centuries, but I can't solve it alone. The past. The past is what ties us together. Will you help me revive it? Before it is forgotten completely. Listen. I am convinced that somewhere in this room is the answer to the riddle of the Temple of Beacon Beach. The riddle. The riddle. A manuscript I translated called it the Chamber of the Two Sons. You'll understand it when you hear the riddle. The king. The king pins the star on his favored son. The outcast runs away towards a new dawn. The paintings in the temple are hauntingly beautiful. I suspect they are connected to the riddle somehow. Go for it. You're an idiot, Professor Backpack. You know that? So that's, yeah, so this is the father, I think. Oh my god, you can spin! <laughs> Thought that said Chamber of the Two Sands. That's the first thing you're gonna say coming in here today, Bob. Wow. Where's your mind at today? I hope you're doing well, man. Alright, we'll come back for that little riddle. Actually, that riddle might be side content. Yeah. Alright. 
Uh, let's get the peaches off the team. Especially this one, because she's about to die. I kind of want to keep Edge for a little bit, just because she's the new character, you know? Yeah, so if the sun... Yeah, so this is the good sun. And this is Augie. So Augie's away from the father. You're probably here. Is that not it? Is that not just the puzzle? Father facing the good sun, away from the bad sun. Sun goes towards the good sun, right? What is that flickering? Good lord. Who is doing that? His whole life, Augie was eclipsed by his older brother. Which, if we're honest, couldn't have been all that difficult. Playing vampire survivors for the first time in a bit. I need to play that. I need to play that at some point. In wall time, Augie was left behind to watch the livestock. It's how a flock of chickens came to briefly rule his city. Oh, poor Augie. Right, let me listen to it again. Professor Backpack, what brings you to Beacon Beach? Another riddle? Oh, precisely! <laughs> Chamber of the Two Sons. The King Pin... Yeah, thanks, Backpack. Pins the star on his favored son. Cass walks away to a new dawn. Does that mean the sun would face the way Augie's walking? Oh, that's weird. But, uh, what do we got here? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, alright. I should probably level up my spark, shouldn't I? That's something I haven't really messed with yet. I feel like this guy is objectively just going to be good for a while. Unlock the next level. At least one hero has to reach level 9. Yeah, they're saying it like your heroes level up independently, but they don't. There's got to be something at some point in the game where, like, your characters start having different levels. I don't know. Truly ginormous Goomba. Oh, he looks so sad, though. He's covered in gunk. <laughs> Greetings, Goomba. <laughs> Dude, walking around in this world is so strange to me. I I just kind of can't get over it. It just feels so odd. But I do I I do sincerely like it. I like a lot of the changes. There's those Goombas done. 
That's a big effect. Good lord. Oh, that's an Odyssey sound effect. I recognize that. Blank, blank. Oh, now Edge doesn't have a way to get over there, though. Whoops. <laughs> My bad. Here's some damage reduction for you, nerds. No, because if I put her here, then she's pretty much not going to be able to walk anywhere else. Yeah, I think we just put her out in the open. Mario, you could have saved those bullets for something infinitely more important. Why would you do that? They're Goombas, Mario. They're not going to do anything to you. Yo, yo. I like Rabbit Luigi quite a bit. I like all of them so far. I should probably be better about... <laughs> These sound bites. I should probably be smarter about who I'm actually picking before a fight. It's definitely not like the first game where you could just use whoever. Because first game, I feel like there wasn't nearly as much strategy in the characters you picked. It was just about how you went about the battles. That'll work. Wild claws. These creatures inherited feline DNA giving them formidable predatory instincts. They rush their attacker instantly when assaulted, a habit we can use to our advantage to lure them where we wish. These wild claws despise contact with water and are resistant to fire-based attacks. To my surprise, I find them both menacing and cute, a reminder that bioforms are complex, very. Ah, oh, whoops, sorry, Palutena. I didn't mean to cut you off there. <laughs> I thought I could scroll while she was talking. <laughs> oh, green loop. Huh? Oh, I see. Oh, these are the, the green coins from 3D World. Hell yeah. What you got for me? Okay then. Mildly acceptable. Oh, I need 12 sparks to get in there? So I wonder if there are sparks that are optional that you can get. I mean, most definitely they're going to be, but I wonder how you get them. here on Beacon Beach really need to do a few background checks before hiring wardens. Wait, doesn't that trophy look familiar? Hmm. No, not really. You're just making things up, Bebo. B Bebo. Why do I keep calling him Bebo? <laughs> <laughs> What do we got here? That'll work. Oh, just a chest. Very interesting designs on the chests. <laughs> Whatever was in that chest is yours. There's enough clutter around this house as is. It's going to be so hard trying not to play this off stream. I'm not I'm not even kidding.
Oh, I'm gonna want to play it like all the time. Look at how fat that seagull is. Alright. Uh, let's see if we have seven coins for that key yet. I don't think we do, but I'm gonna check anyway. We need one more. You there. What can I do to assist? Got a great deal on this vacation package. Now I know why. This place is crawling with bob -ombs. I'm more stressed than when I left. Would you get rid of at least three of them? I could get rid of one level three bob -omb, but not really three level one bob -ombs. Surely you understand. Oh, I can skip these little intro sequences? Wow. Let's finish this. <laughs> okay, so Edge is not good in situations where there's a lot of, like, tall blocks. That's for certain. Later, losers. <laughs> Way to go, rabid Luigi. Just dead weight. That's how it's done. Alright, that's one. Yeah, I probably should have accepted that quest first. But I, at the time, I didn't really know, like, how to mess with quests and whatnot. Yeah. Ooh, what do we got here? Is this where the key goes? Ah! Okay. Two more bob bombs and I can get that. Or I can beat this thing. That'll work. Alright, give me something. Give me like a funky battle arena. Give me something weird to work with. Eleven enemies. Let's see. Three bob -ombs, two stooges, six Goombas. I think we go both Luigi's on this. Definitely want regular Luigi just to be able to snipe from up here with his bow. I went to the wrong menu. Get Rabbit Luigi over here for this bob -omb. What have I done? <laughs> I might be able to curb this? No. That's my bad. I could have played that a lot smarter. Uh, edge. I can kill these three. Go down here. Dash into you. Pick you up. Off you go. Fault over. I love how many movement options there are for this. It works really well. This will take out a Goomba as well. Go! 
Should be able to boomerang this around to hit both, maybe? You know, they're both gonna die this turn anyway, so just... Hop on out. Luigi time. It sure is, bud. <laughs> I adore the voices. I really do. I, I... They're so weird, but in such a great way. Rabbit Peach is a little strange, but I think it's one that'll grow on me. Victor, sorry to be a wowser, mate. But all sporting contests are postponed due to weather. <laughs> Understandable. Have a nice day. All right, let's go get that key. Thanks, bud. Now let's go see what's behind that special little door. It's got puzzle pieces, which makes me wonder if it's actually going to be like a puzzle area. Maybe it's an extra dungeon. Oh my god. <laughs> huh. Is this a battle? Oh, this is how you get a spark. Cool. Okay, this plays a lot more like the first game's overworlds. Gotcha. Yeah, it's even got the pipes and everything. Dude, I would... Whoa. Wasn't ready for that. I would love it if this just became a recurring series. Like, we just get a new Mario Rabbids game every couple years. Ugh. Okay, very scattered battlefield. Definitely want Rabbid and Luigi for the boomerang. Just because it can like, weave around all over the place. Rabbit Peach, because we're probably going to need a heal at some point. Let's go regular Mario, and then I'm going to try and get Mario the jump that I wanted on him. Yeah, stop. I don't know. And Luigi weakens people when he dashes. I'd like to keep that. More ricochet distance? Yes, please. Alright, let's take some health out of Red Peach for now. Alright, what could I give her that's nice? On her first landing during a turn. Ah, 5%'s really not worth it. I wonder if the skill trees become more and more powerful. Because they seem relatively basic, but there, you know what, there is like a fifth category. Maybe that has something to do with it. Heal range would probably be nice. Definitely want more healing. You know, yeah, let's just max out her healing. That's what's important on her for now. Ooh. I'm, I'm happy that, like, the DLC and stuff are weapon skins instead of actual weapons. Because, like, it worked in the first game. But it was so disappointing that, like, there were so many cool designs, and you just didn't get to use 90% of them. Well, actually, truthfully, you didn't get to use half of them, because the way they handled weapons in that game was... It made, it worked, it was just a little strange. Where, basically, you would get, like, every time a new weapon unlocked, there would be two variants. Each with different status effects. Way to go, Mario, you botched it up! Uh, so you would get like, oh, here's a version of the gun that bounces. Here's a version of the gun that burns people. And you just had to pick one. Like, they were the same in every other aspect. Live streaming. 
Did she just say live stream? Yes, I am live streaming, Rabbit Peach. Thank you for the shout out. Uh, what else do we have? Five stooges. Got it. Let's try and get a weird angle over here. Oh well. Swish. <laughs> Rabid Luigi, please. Your moves are too strong. You're tanking my frames. <laughs> Alright, let's try this again. After dashing into him. Dude, you gotta be accurate with that. It was so much easier to do in the first game. Uh, Mario might get tanked a bit, but... I think he'll be fine. That's not a very good hiding spot, my man. All right. Sorry, I was a little quiet there. I was weirdly focusing more than I probably should be for this game. <laughs> or, sorry, not this game. Like, this battle. No, it's a very technically advanced game, and I need all my focus. Better not move, bud. You fool. <laughs> Definitely gotta mess with the sparks more. It definitely seems like there's a lot to manage. Because I have, like, character levels, character health, my party just as a whole, the sparks, their levels, what all they do. It's all, It can be a lot to take in. But I definitely like it a lot. Okay, lots of cover. I think we keep Rabid Luigi. What else? Five enemies. They're all stooges again. Hmm. I'm going to swap out Mario for Rabid Mario just to see if I can hit people behind cover. Wait a minute, this is just the same layout we were just at. Lazy and greedy devs. <laughs> I love him so much. No way I can just punch him through this, right? What? <laughs> Why does that work? Okay, Rabbit Mario is great if they have cover. Cool, got it. Uh... 
Actually, no. We're just gonna stay here. Probably could have gone for a better spot for an actual ricochet, but it's whatever. Seriously, come on, 50% chance. Rigged game. How could they? Right, definitely want to get Rabid Mario over there on the right to mess with those two. Hopefully I can get him over there. Nice. Good job, Rabbit Mario. It's really nice that your movement isn't limited by a turn anymore. Hey, yeah. Being able to just freely move around and do whatever you want is so nice. Yo. Got you. And hopefully... Hey. That should finish him off. Nice. It's been real. Okay, may maybe don't have Rabbit Peach in the party. If I have to listen to her talking about live streaming and hashtags the whole game, maybe, maybe don't have her. <laughs> but she does make very funny sounds, so I'll, I'll allow it. For now. <laughs> okay, way less cover, so maybe don't go rabid, Mario. Well, now let's just keep with what we got. I don't even know if that's even farther, but I can try. I haven't been able to properly win since 2015. You are still devastated about that, aren't you? I mean, hey, I get it. It always sucks when a game you love turns into something you just don't love anymore. That happened to me uh, recently with Paladins. Dude, you know what was funny? I got a fucking email directly from hi -Riz, like, Hey man, why aren't you playing our game anymore? <laughs> I'm being like 100% serious. It was like, we really miss you. Why aren't you playing? What's wrong? Uh, so fucking funny. Really? Oh, please, Rabbit Luigi, my frames. Also, I want to see that animation slowed down so badly. There's so much squash and stretch with it. Mario Plus Rabbit's always had, like, really well-animated cutscenes. They were always so lively and full of energy. I'm not gonna do that, Bob. No, I mean, it's like... You know when a game just gets, like, frequent back-to-back-to-back-to-back updates that you're not big on, but you just let it slide and you keep playing anyway? But then there's just that one addition that just, you fucking snap and you just stop. You can't do it. You can't do it anymore. I hope 
Rabbid Mario is supposed to be able to do that, by the way, because it kind of feels like cheating. Uh, come back, Luigi. We're gonna slide into him. No, I mean, for me with Paladins, it was just the case of, like, I was already on thin ice with the game, but the most recent update, like, that was it. That character was just like, I'm never playing this game again, territory of unfun. Doubt he's gonna go for Rabid Mario, but I'm gonna try this anyway. That sucks. Dude, it, it does. Because, like, I, I do still have, like, a strong passion for the game. It's just, like... I went to the test servers, right? Because that they do, like, test patches and whatnot. And... What happened was... The, you know, I get a match against the character. I played one match. And do you know what happened? I got... First off, Paladins has, like, an item shop, so if you have, like... If you're getting stunned a lot, you just buy the item, where it's like, oh, you don't get stunned as much. I maxed it out as soon as possible and still spent 90% of the game stunned and unable to control my character. Because she has, like, an invisible thing that she puts on the ground, and if you're in radius of it, it's just, oh, I can't play. You, you just, you automatically run away from it, and you can't shoot or use abilities or anything. And she can do it, like, every three seconds. And it's like, yeah, no, I'm not playing this anymore. I've had my fill. And you know what the worst part is? Now that she's in the live patch, apparently she's even worse? I don't even know how they manage that. It's, it's unfortunate, because I, I do love that game, but... I mean, that's what, it happens to pretty much every live service game, you know? I feel like they all reach that point of, like... You know, the devs feel the need to constantly keep adding, like, we need something new, we need something fresh, we need something for people to constantly come back to the game. And it ends with them adding in things that just aren't fun. And I don't blame them. You know, I'm sure they have, like, people yelling down at them, like, you need to add more stuff so people play the game and spend money on it, but... It's just a bit of a shame. Alright. I'm gonna try... There's no way Rabid Mario makes it all the way over there. We're gonna... We can try! Hey! Not bad! Was helping for a crit, but that's fine. Probably going to take a lot of damage, but we'll heal it before we end the match. Yeah, because now that Rabbit Peach has, like, her big heal... I'm definitely not nearly as scared about doing that. <laughs> bang, bang, bang. <laughs> I feel like Rabbit Peach's voice actress just had fun. She just sounds like she's smiling the whole time. Okay, we need some kind of triangle to get you, so let's look around. Oh, there it is. I'm getting Captain Toad's treasure tracker vibes right now. Just with the whole, like, spinning the camera to find, like, weird angles to see things. All right. I've had my fill of fighting these guys... So we're just going to sneak on past them. Uh, 
Uh, where did I come from? Oh, shit, I need to put it in there. Dang it. Uh, same layout. Just five? Only three. Oh, but these ones are different. Flame and Stooge. Firebase attacks at rivals from behind. Okay. Let's... Let's get rid of Rabid Mario for this one. I always liked that in the first game, Luigi was straight up the mobility character. Because he's... I don't, I'm pretty sure he's the only character that could jump twice in that game, and it looks like it's the same case here. Uh, steely stare, steely stare. Pass through obstacles? Ooh. That's really good. I'm so curious what that fifth category is. All right, let's just go with, like, full mobility for Luigi right now. What can Rabid Mario do, you think? Ah, he's got his explosive dash from the first game. Cool. All right. Anyone have a charger? Shut the fuck up, Rabid Peach! <laughs> You're, uh, you're, you're, you're testing some patience levels right now, Missy. <laughs> yeah, so watch this. Now I can... Okay. <laughs> can I mute her? Just her. No, I think she's funny. We're gonna keep her. There is no way. Luigi! You can clearly see him, my guy. Yeah, alright. Alright, bud. Say your prayers, wabbit. Hold on, actually. Okay, now say them. Oh, right, we already... About as funny as sticking a power drill into my ear. Exactly, you've never done that! Bro, every time I cannot resist just screaming out with laughter. <laughs> Luigi hits him with the bow point blank twice and then has the audacity to be scared when they fight back. Oh my god, that was such a genuine scream. <laughs> Are you okay, Rabbit Peach? Uh, let's try and get her in a better position. They're gonna wear off eventually, but they're funny for now. She, I hope she says hashtag blessed at some point. That would be pretty good. Alright. So 
let's... She can't move. Uh... I might be able to get a weird angle here if we're lucky. Fuck. Okay. Yeah, when's she gonna cancel the enemies? Come on. Excuse me, sir. Why did I do that? <laughs> Interesting that so many characters can just ignore the 50% cover thing. Yeah, here's the thing. If they're gonna have a character that talks with, like... Oh, I have to go back and pick up my thing? Oh, no, there it is. If they're gonna have a character that genuinely says stuff like hashtag winning, I want them to go all out with it. I really do. Oh, wait, if that's how that works, I think I know how to go do the cube thing, then. Thank you for rescuing me. <clears throat> rescuing me. I've been stuck here for what seems like forever. Augie's not in charge still, is he? <laughs> this game is so strange. With the way they have everything set up. I'm so happy I, I didn't spoil myself on it. Alright. Uh, I think I understand how to open that cube door now. Oh yeah, let's look at what Screech does. Whoops, gotta go. Repelled from the hero's position. So that'll be good for things like... Steely Stare and Hero Sight. Because then we can activate them and use a spark to make those enemies run away. And then they'll get hit by it, all within one turn. Can't do that yet. Where was that? Was it back here? Yeah! Oh, okay, that's where I put it! Got it. Dude, honestly, it's kind of baffling to me that Nintendo was down to do this and Bayonetta 2 within, like, a week of each other. Pretty much. I, th I think it was eight days, but, like, come on. Basically a week. Huh? Wait. Was this just coins? No. Okay, yeah, no, it was this whole deal. Nice. Dark mess allowed outside the lighthouse. All right, more bomb bombs, Goombas, Stooges. A lot of enemies in this one. Actually, let's go Rabbit Mario, Rabbit Luigi, and Edge. Dude, I can't wait to get Bowser. I'm so excited to see what Bowser does. Hit you. You got quite the amount of options. Couldn't I? Oh my god. 
the fact that you can hit enemies. That is absurd that he's allowed to do that. Let's try and see if I can do something up here with Rabid Luigi. What? Oh, they're like one block away. Damn, okay, I'll just wait till the next turn. I'm I don't want to get into the habit of playing like dumb games, like playing like stupid risky. Oh, you know what? This would have been a great Luigi map. In fact, you know what? Hold on. I, I'm, I'm gonna go back to Luigi, because I didn't think about that. I'm not used to the elevation yet. Like, the first game had elevation, but it, they would rarely use it. And usually it was a lot more obvious. Alright, so let's do Luigi instead of Edge. I do wish it would auto-equip sparks. Because there's no real downside to just having a spark on you, you know? Oh, too easy. Hmm. oh well, apparently Rabid Mario thinks it's too easy to just have a spark on you. I'm really liking Rabid Mario a lot. Huh? Oh, I can make it up here, right? Nice. Crit, maybe? Hey! Good job, Rabbit Luigi. Alright, we're gonna take this one real slowly. Yeah, okay, so high ground is very good. <laughs> Try and use it when you can. Uh, can I get that bob on yet? Not yet. However... We bring Rabid Mario over here. Jump down with Rabid Luigi. Do this. Rabid Luigi, watch your language. Here we go. Now that's a turn right there. Go ahead, take out him. Go ahead and scare him off, because that's going to activate Steely Stare. Nice. Now I just got just to gotta figure out what to do with Rabid Mario. 
Uh, they're not quite close enough. Okay, on the off chance they try and hit me, I'm gonna do counter blow, but I don't think it's really gonna do anything for me. Yeah, that's what you get, bud. Nice, and now we got the triangle. Do you know where the triangle goes? That's right. It goes in the square hole. Did he just pull out a boggy wahe just like that, and he expected me not to acknowledge it? I love Rabid Mario so much. <laughs> This might be a little weird saying it, but I almost feel like I don't think I've ever really played something like this. I don't know how else to describe it. Maybe I'm biased because I just I'm already in love with it, but it's it's very unique. Right, what, what can we go get from the shop? I do like these tire gauntlets. Yeah. They're cool. I can't help myself. Okay. Two additional hits. Damn. Wait, hold on. Okay. Not bad. Beefy Rabbit Mario over here now punching people like seven times. Oh, wait, did that say Glide Boost? Can Peach float? Or was that someone else? Oh, okay, that's just that. I thought Peach was going to have her float ability from, like, Mario 2 to get around. A barrier to whoever she team jumps with. Ooh. I like that. I think Peach... Definitely needs to get some extra movement. I feel like she's got a smaller movement range than other characters. Well, what else could I get on Peach? I guess just more movement. Why not? I don't know how I feel about Peach just yet. I thought I liked her a lot at the start, but as more time is passing, I, I think she's just kind of okay. And then let's just get more health on everyone else for now. Hey, Goatman, how are you today? Wait a minute, didn't you stop by earlier? You did? Well, how's your day been? <laughs> been playing Deep Rock Galactic? I need to try that game at some point. I've heard good things. 
Oh, I can go in all the buildings? Or is this just the one that we were in with that had, like, the chest? Oh, you can just go in all of them. Cool. Resigned to living with a blah blah outside my door forever. Thank you for getting rid of it. Got anything in here? <laughs> nah, I think you just come in here for fun. Cool. I've actually got no idea what Deep Rock Galactic's about. I think he, it's like space dwarves in a mine. That's what it seems like. Alright, gimme in that lighthouse. I can't do more. I'm no good at fighting like you are. Until we meet again. Bye bye. Later, Twinkle. He just floats off. I love him. Defeat the guard protecting the dark moss egg. I have no idea who got the dash off there. I think I did, but it looked like he dashed as well. Really? One of the boss guys is going to be here? Does he have as much health or is he weaker? A thousand is still nothing to scoff at. Okay. Uh... This could be a good map for Luigi, but I don't know. Rabbit Peach in case we need to heal. Luigi for sniping. And then maybe Mario? I want to try and get one of his stomps off if I can. I forgot to equip sparks on them. Dang it. Does this count as protection? Okay, cool. I wonder if this can be destroyed then. Alright, Luigi's job right now. Get rid of the Tiger Man. I used both my abilities. I am a f fucking fool. Alright, let's try the, the stomp over on this guy. Okay. Okay. Oh, I see what I did wrong. It's a different button. Okay. I got it now. scared of that big guy, but we'll see. Yeah, I kind of saw that coming. Peach is probably going to be good just for being able to eliminate status debuff. Like, status debuff immunity is going to be nice. Or super effects, whatever they want to call them. 
Oh, I can dash through these guys now. Okay, so you can only not dash through them when they're bosses. Interesting. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can get a heal in on Luigi. Oh, that's cool that he actually, like, puts his hand over on the guard. Guardrail. That's neat. of a waste of a dash, but it is what it is. Actually... You know what? This was a bad idea, because they're just going to come up. Oh, yeah, that wasn't the best, brightest plan. Oh, well, it's fine. Can I do anything else? Nope. Yeah, they're gonna get hit quite a bit, but we'll be fine. is obnoxious. <laughs> Why did he go all the way around? You could have just walked over there, man. <laughs> so unnecessary. Maybe a crit, hopefully. Dang. I hope he only had. Maybe go for Abbott Peach, dude. Not my Mario, man. Come on. I gotta remember, attacking first is not the brightest idea. That was the pain. Oh, he looked so scared when I did it. No. I'm sorry, you little bastard, but maybe if you didn't keep setting me on fire, I would have more remorse. All right, to the top of the lighthouse. Aquanox joins the team? So sometimes you just get a spark randomly. Also, pipe time. Oh, is this going to be like the blue coin areas from the first game? Uh, I think. 
It looks like it. This room is amazing. We ought to find the decorator and have them do our ship. There's little chance of that. This room was designed by bored rabbits looking to entertain themselves. They clearly abandoned it before finishing. Still, it appears functional. You know, if you want to give it a try. What exactly was the goal here? But did you know that when rabbits design a room like this, they add the reward first? Let me show you. Huh. Easy peasy. Ooh, two rewards. All right. Now eh, one reward basically. Beacon Beach was one of the first planets rabbits populated after the Megabug was defeated. By rabbit standards, this was an easy decision. The climate is sunny but mild, thanks to the bonfire on the top of the lighthouse. The Sunrise Temple is a popular venue for treasure hunters. Concerts are a common occurrence, and it is even said that coins can be found on trees. Oh boy. Anything else in here? I guess not. Part of me kind of liked the look of the ones from the first game just a little bit more. But at the same time, they just... It was just blue cubes. It wasn't really thematically purposeful, accurate, whatever word you would like to use. Alright, to the top of the lighthouse. I love the animation on the characters a ton. Even just, like, their running animations. I don't know. I, at this point, I'm literally just like, I love this part of the game. I love that part of the game. I love every part of the game. But it's true. I really do. I was actually thinking about the other day that, like, I remember when this game first got leaked. And people just immediately didn't even want to give it a chance. And part of me does get it. I understand the distaste for the rabbits, but dude, I grew up with them. I was like six years old when the first game first came out. I don't know. I, I never had really, I never really got it. I never really got like the distaste for them. I think they're funny. But maybe that's also just because I like slapstick. Uh, definitely want Luigi because of the big guy. I don't know. Th this is like one of those dream games that I feel like people would have been... One guy would have came up with it years and years and years ago. And it, it's something that would have never existed, not even as a fan game. And it existed. And it was good. And I'm so happy it, it got a sequel. Uh... Maybe Edge? Yeah, actually, no. Rabbit Luigi to hit around the... Well... No, nah, Rabbit Mario. Aquanox. All weapon-based attacks are charged with Splash. Okay, well, we're gonna want that on Luigi. Level cap re- Oh, I see. So you have to be a certain level in the story to keep leveling them up. Got it. Alright, well, we're definitely gonna want Splash.
Okay. Im <laughs> okay, immediately heal up Luigi. Anyone I can slide into? No. Alright, let's see what Splash does. Okay, Splash's bounce. Yeah, so in the first game, you had, like, things like bounce, which would spring enemies up into the air. But you also had things like, you know, the burn, and enemies would walk off the ledge. Uh, out of Bounds is nice. Hitting an enemy out of Bounds, it's just straight up... Guarantees that they're no threat to you, because it'll either one-shot them... Ooh. Or it'll, uh... Dang. It either one-shots them, or it just prevents them from doing anything. It's really nice. So close. Oh, you know what? I could have killed that guy in one turn. Had I, uh, if I buffed them with Rabbit Peach's Spark. Actually, are there only three enemies? Oh, we got this no problem then. That's so cool with the extra punches. Oh, yeah. Got it. So far, the puzzles in the overworld aren't too taxing, from what I can tell. Drag this here, put this here, hit this thing here. Nothing too bad. I'm imagining this is going to be the first, like, major boss of the game. I'd be surprised if it wasn't. I'm Rainer Shrine. Triumph over the Dark Mass Tentacle. Alright. Let's see what you're made of, Dark Mass. Is it Dark Menace or Darkness? Hmm. Oh. Destroy the eyes. Okay. Probably going to want Mario so I can shoot multiple at a time. But <laughs> Look at this little guy. Toxic Quake. Please, you gotta win this battle. I can't leave here. I can't leave with you here until you do. We will win your freedom. Though it may take a few attempts, it's quite a battlefield. It really depends on how strong the eyes are health-wise. Aha! And since the darkness dimension and our world are connected, the lighthouse on Beacon Beach will light up too! All right, do I just have to hit them? Because if that's the case, Rabbit Mario, regular Mario, and Rabbit Peach seems like the way to go. Well, I might go regular Peach. 
Now nah, let's get Rabbit Peach so I don't have to spend money on a heal. Oh, wait, the sparks. Rabbit Mario, I'm just going to use him to take out, like, all of these ones at the start. Come on, I saw the ability to hit four earlier. Alright, that's four out of eleven. That's five. case I need to take out an enemy. Actually, I could go the other way around now that I think about it. You know, I'll keep Rabbit Peach back here and try to do that, I think. Oh, I could have used Splash there and probably taken out both of them. Oh well. Yeah, so I'm going to try and take Rabbit Mario up that ledge so he can just wrap around and get those ones more easily. And then regular Mario could probably just take out those two. Oh, I hope you can fly enough, Rabbit Mario. Hey! I'm a job! Uh, he can't quite get in range of them just yet, but he'll be fine for now. <laughs> Alright, let's go for a stomp. Dang, I totally thought I'd be able to get the bob bomb. That's a lot of damage. Dude, the burn is crazy strong. I gotta be careful. A portal, of course. Alright, Rabid Mario, how many can you get? I think if regular Mario just gets that last one, we're good, right? Yep. Easy peasy. Oh my god. <laughs> I love him so much. Whoever's decision it was to have voice acting in this game needs, like, 50 raises.
it's so strange because like oh my god i can't stop talking about it it doesn't feel like a mario game or a rabbits game i kind of love it for that reason though it feels like mario characters and rabbits characters kind of got sucked into their own thing does that make sense How's it going, man? How can you jump so high? You do thigh workouts, eh? Sun's out. Fun's out. Just stoked that the sun's out and Beacon Beach is back, baby. Well, almost. almost. You popped that last tentacle. It left behind some nasty darkness puddle. Oh, boy. <laughs> I love Augie so much. Something I should have told you. It's about Curse's ringleaders, the Spark Hunters. Came to me before you got here. <laughs> it said if I didn't hand over all the sparks here, they'd shred everyone into pizza topping. Well, my phrase, not theirs. Then we will save every spark we can find, here and elsewhere. The Spark Hunters' readers will be with us. <sighs> Careful. There's at least three of them, and they're real dangerous. Find out I told you. Then... They will answer to all of us. For although we have enough purified dark mess energy to travel to pristine peaks, those warp tunnels go both ways. We can return here anytime, whenever you need us. Wait a second, he didn't say what the text is saying? Did he not? <laughs> oh, if you mean the voice acting, then yeah. Like, they'll only say, like, one or two words. It's a word. There's a word where I come from. Kuluka means chosen family. You're my Kaluka now. I would say Chad is my Kaluka, but there's only one person here. <laughs> Hell yeah, level up again. Unlock a new side quest and new planet. How many planets do you think there are? Whenever you want, you can also head to the spaceship. We've got enough purified darkness energy crystals to reach a new planet. Memories, progression. There's five keys to find? Jeez. Alright, definitely want to level up. Yes, I... Game, I kind of already picked up on how this works. You already told me. I don't know if you remember. We've kind of been over this. This little... I think Starburst is probably the best one I have right now. He's probably the one that I'm going to want to use almost every single battle. Can never go wrong with more damage. Loving the music as well. I kind of... Is there a way I could turn the music... Oh, god damn it. I didn't want to press that. <laughs> is there a way I could turn the music up ever so slightly? No, I'd have to turn everything else down, and that would be a pain. Well, it's good music. I just... I wish it stuck out just a little bit more volume-wise. I wonder if you reach a point where it's like Paper Mario and if the enemy is like a low enough level, you just instantly kill them. Knockdown!
Uh, where's the last enemy? Um, um, um. <laughs> I couldn't find him. Uh, where is he? Oh, there you are, you little bastard. You ready for the old one, two, three, four, five? Rabbit Mario is so good. It wouldn't be a bad idea to get heal on win for every character. Just because in that case, then, like, whenever I do, like, a small disposable battle like that, I can just heal. You lost your party chips. Oh, no. Bleep sheep midi hippies, demo scene shapers, and chip tune makers. Please help, I, I have no idea what this man is saying. Got bad news, both albums with my polychronic pocket sonnets on them are missing. If you want to get tripped, you gotta find them for me. May your waves always be triangle. What? <laughs> Yes, you are, Rabbit Mario. <laughs> oh my god, I just realized his name is Cheap Tuna. <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. Peach was even here. <laughs> oh, Edge is too cool to dance. Of course she is. Oh god, is this a boss? It might be. Okay, it was not this bad in the cutscene. <laughs> Get the thing out of here, please. If a fan gets swallowed up, I'll be sued for sure. I got you, DJ Cheap, cheap Tuna? Was it Cheap? Yeah, Cheap Tuna, that's what it was. How bad could this possibly be? Come on. Oh. Oh, Christ. Okay, we have to destroy the eyes again. Rabbit Mario for sure, because he'll be able to hit an entire fridge's worth. That's a fr they're speakers. They look like fridges. Alright. I think we just instantly go with these three again. What does the new kid do? Three shockwaves of ooze. Each one deals 44 damage. No, I think we I think we go with this. Uh, actually, hold on. Not only do I want to level up the spark, I'm pretty sure we have a bunch of skill points we can use. Range on Rabbit Peach would be nice. Damn, 20% of your health healed every time you kill an enemy? That's pretty good. Heal range. I'm gonna go with heal cooldown. And. 20% uh, <laughs> damage, but only on her third rocket. I'm going to go with range, because I feel like enemies are constantly just barely out of Rabbit Peach's range. Alright. 
what about Rabid Mario? I kind of want to save up for an... Wait, why do I have crit chance on him? What? Oh, right. That's how I got the... Okay. Oh, wait. Can I get the extra hit right now? Oh, that's okay. Never mind. That's a one tier upgrade. I thought I could maybe upgrade it more and you get even more hits. But that I feel like that would probably be broken. Okay. Ah. How about just some more movement? A melee guy's got to be able to get around. Alright, Luigi. I mean, I'm down to just give him more mobility again, honestly. However... Oh, that's cool. Do more damage at close range with Luigi. But at the same time, I feel like you wouldn't really want that if you're huh? playing him to, like, full effectiveness. 100% crit chance on high ground. Oh my god. <laughs> that seems pretty good. Definitely going to be going for that at some point. Yeah, I'm fun there, Luigi. Alright, that'll work. Alright, so each one has four on there. Even though they're not the focus, I want to make sure that those cats don't bother us. They could easily really screw us over. I should just be able to dash into him and kill him, right? Very close. One shot. Okay, I love Rabid Mario, straight up. Being able to hit through surfaces without actually destroying them, it's so nice. Oh, it's so good. Probably my favorite character so far. <laughs> Alright, still two more of those cat things. Quite close enough to hit all of them, am I? Not without putting myself in danger. Alright, Luis needs to move up. don't know if the game would allow me to hit him from here, but I'm going to try. Okay, cool. Uh... 
I'm just gonna get the one. I don't want to risk it. Because that tiger guy could easily walk up and kill me instantly. And then I wouldn't be able to do anything. <laughs> However... I am down to start getting rid of this with Rabbit Peach. Part of me wishes I could lock Rabbit Peach's thing onto three enemies, but then that would kind of defeat the purpose of Mario being in the game with his dual pistol. Oh, I think they're going to take their first shot. No, not quite yet. I could kill both of these, but it's going to leave me out in the open. Ooh, yeah. hey. One. Just get rid of three of them. Whatever. Instantly destroy that. If anyone hits me, they'll get countered. Come back here and one shot that. Maybe if I'm lucky enough? Ugh. I can't risk more enemies spawning. Not when there's already so many on the field. Shot him? So close. Really? Another tiger? Good lord. Alright, please be in range. that boost, I might be able to kill this one and do a lot to that next one. Hmm. That's really tempting. I do like that there's a symbol to tell you if you'll caught in it or not. Okay, I think no matter what Rabid Mario just instantly die or instantly gets caught in that guy. What can you do? So I think the goal here is to try and get Luigi to snipe out one of them. You know what? If I get him low enough, Rabid Mario could take out both. nowhere near each other. Hmm. I got an idea. Been taking a break from Skylanders. Same. I... Haven't been as interested in doing giants these past few days. I think a lot of it comes from just how much is coming out lately. There we go. Oh, wait! He's so low! <laughs> 15 health! But now, there's so many things coming out lately, and just... I didn't... 
I had fun, like, during the giant stream, but I don't know, I felt iffy afterwards. I can't, I can't really describe it. It's been real. Okay. Uh, Luigi has plenty of health, he's fine. There's a lot of other games that you love. Yeah, that's pretty much how it, what it boils down to, is just do what you enjoy. Okay, I think the enemies are just gonna instantly respawn at this point. The focus really should just be get the things. You hate buying games? You know, I get that. Genuinely. I think I maybe should have gone Peach with her shotgun. For a subs subscription that gives you free games and internet access and games that should be free. Uh is it Game Pass? That sounds I I assume it's Game Pass, but I've always thought about getting it. I again just assuming that that's what you're talking about. Why Luigi? <laughs> what <laughs> PS Plus? Ah. Yeah, I don't know. Stuff like that, I just... I don't know what it is, but something about getting my games through a subscription... It just... It doesn't feel right. In the sense that, like, I feel like I don't own them. <laughs> you don't? <laughs> Well, yeah, I mean, I just, I don't know. I've always been iffy on it. All right, you know what? I think we just speed run this and just take Rabid Mario to the eyeballs. I'm wasting so much time on this level trying to kill the enemies. If I fail this, then here, can I heal him from here? Shoot. I think I just have to heal myself here. Otherwise, Rabbit Peach died. Oh, well, I could do this. Oh, that's not good. Maybe I'll get lucky and get burned. Yes! Oh, uh, well. Actually, that's good. That put Rabbit Mario closer to where we're trying to go. Come on. I need you to live, man. Okay, okay. Heal.
We're gonna try for it. Onwards! Okay. Woo! I made that way harder on myself than I needed to. I do wish Luigi had his old move where it was like you could increase the movement range of everyone on your team. That was so nice. Loop Snoops, Oscillator Gators, Microsound Hounds, and 8-Bit Clowns. Cheap Tuna has the vibes to take y'all into overdrive. DJ Cheap Tuna, please don't tell me this is DMCA. I have like eight copyright claims on my archive channel, please. Thanks, I call this one a fish and chips. Lots of wet pulse melodies. Yeah, spark of nostalgia is normal. <laughs> He kind of sounds like... Oh my god, I can't remember his name. Hold on. Jess Harnell. That's what Beepo sounds like to me. I don't know if it's him, but it definitely sounds like him. Where to next? We could go ahead and get that last claw bomb. I probably should head to the next world, but it feels like there's already like there's still so much to do on this one, you know? Think you could beat my PB? Oh hell yeah, speedrun time. G'day mates, you look keen and full of beans. You ready for the Beacon Beach Silly Fish Chuck Challenge? The Beacon Beach Chuck challenge! You chuck all the silly fish into the fountain before time expires. Small fee of 20 coins lets you ride the roller coaster of thrills and emotions of a pro fish chucker. So, is it a nah yeah or a yeah nah? I knew you were a ripper. A little tip for you. Try dashing into the silly fish. It'll make it easier to grab them. One more thing. Don't wander off too far. I'll have to disqualify you. No refunds. Yep. To the victor goes the spoils. Come here, you silly little bastards. Oh, hell yeah, I sniped that one. <laughs> Are there only five silly fish? If that's the case, they shouldn't be too bad, right? I'm so strong. He didn't tell me what his PB was, by the way. I fucking love Rabbit Mario, dude. He's my he's easily the best one so far. He's just so happy. Alright, I'm gonna shoot for ten. Come on! Yeah! What was the PB anyway? Great galloping gohonas. Goanas? That was a beaut, mate. It's a gold finish. Did it beat my PR? 
Let's call it a tie, but feel free to give it another go anytime. He's, he's at the greatest moment of my life. <laughs> I hope y'all can hear everything he says or I'm going to be really sad. If I find out that the audio is too low for y'all to understand the characters, I am going to be depressed. Because Rabid Mario is a fucking delight. Oh, that's... Oh, okay, so that's how you can tell if it's shallow or not. Makes sense. Hey, Augie. Peas in a pod. <laughs> Behind you, 100% of this brouhaha against Cursa. Why, thank you, Augie. That is very boring. Right after this six day weekend is over, I really need some Augie time to decompress. Decompress? Oh, the cannon. <laughs> we gotta find a blue disc somewhere. Maybe behind the Ooh. temple? I think I remember seeing a blue one anywhere. Let's see, what all do we have in our quest book? The Armored Goombas. Hunt down bob -ombs. Unlock the pipe with 12 sparks. Yeah, we could probably do everything on the first island. Well, maybe not the 12 sparks one. We might have to come back for that one, but... Here, I saw a bob -omb just nearby. Oh, but he's down there past the gate. So I either need to find a way to destroy that eyeball, or I need to find a- Oh, never mind. Alright, I should probably change up the team composition. We we've been running with these three for a while. I feel bad that, like, I'm barely using Peach or Edge. I don't know why. Because Edge is such a niche character it feels like it feels like she is specifically designed to fight big bosses let's see You. Oh, yeah. Maybe Edge gets some upgrades that'll make it more convenient to use in more battles. We'll have to wait and see. Alright, there's three ball bombs. Now let's go buy some stuff. Oh, we could get some lore or some skins. Oh, I think these are the... Oh, no, never mind. Those are like a Mario Kart thing. Uh... Iconic vintage piece prompts unforgettable draw-dropping... Jaw... 
jaw-dropping style moments from friends and foes alike. Hashtag outfit goals. Does every single peach weapon skin have a hashtag? I guarantee you they do. Oh, Goomba. I'd love to hear some Goomba lore. I'm not too interested in the skins, because I do have the DLC skins. And I'm pretty happy with the way those ones look right now. Could that circular thing be? Whoa. Relax, I got it. Everybody, take a break. Soak up some sun. Rabbit Mario will take it from here. I insist. That sounds nice, but these puddles are at least as dangerous as swimming, right? And you should never swim alone, right? Princess, mind tagging along? Your skill at protecting teammates could be useful. Not that you'll need it, rabbit Mario. Oh, is this going to be a mission where it's like, I have to use these two? Oh, neat. Okay. Aqua Dash. All dashes are charged with Splash. Oh, that's cool. Oh, good lord. Peach is about to cause mass fucking genocide. <laughs> good lord. Take out the two smaller guys, and then I'm gonna try and wait for Peach's thing to come back on cooldown. You know, I didn't. I didn't need cover anyway. That's fine. I think he's in movement range, is he? No, I think we're good. <laughs> Actually, if I do this right, I should just be able to hit him like this, right? Later, loser. Oh my god. <laughs> that damage is absurd. Bye bye. Okay, I, I think I underestimate Peach's shotgun a little bit. That's pretty good. But the problem is. Oh, those are neat. She has the same issue that Yoshi had in the first game. Which is, you don't want to destroy all the cover on screen. Because what happens when you get to a point where you need to kill, like, 20 enemies, but they keep spawning as you're, like, rotating throughout the field? And by the time you get to where the enemy started, there's no cover. Because you blew it all up. What were you thinking? I don't know. 
Maybe there's a spark that makes it to where you can't damage obstacles, but you can still hit through them. Oh, Christ. You are doomed. Hey! Uh -huh. Domed if you use another gateway chain instead of a Madame Boistrella's dimensional drift departures! Use at own risk. If adventure you do seek, expect... Expeditions of compelling combat await you beyond the gateway. Choose your party wisely. Gateway challenge. Oh, so I can still find quests that even if they're not marked in the book. Got it. Disclaimer! Neat. I'm hoping this isn't going to be as hard as the challenge mode was. I, I will say, I am very much looking forward to the DLC. Oh my god, okay, this battlefield is way more reminiscent of the first game. Good lord. Okay, definitely need Luigi. Rabbit Luigi and Rabbit Peach, that's what I'm going to go with. Uh, I'm very excited for the DLC. The DLC in the first game was pretty good. But the first game's, like, challenge mode DLC, oh my god, it was so difficult. Absurdly difficult. Movability damage. I'm gonna put the blue one, the splash one, on Rabid Luigi and try to knock off, like, multiple enemies at a time. Let's try this one. Well, actually, if they're all clumped together, Burn might be a good one to have on loot. No, because he already does quite a bit. Hmm. Oh my god, it's 3 o'clock? Oh my god! I didn't realize I'd been playing for four hours! I thought I was just playing the, the funny rabbit game. I didn't think I was gonna just... I, I was not expected to play this long. I was only gonna play for, like, maybe two to three hours. All right, well, well, we'll keep going. We'll keep going for a little bit. You know, that makes a lot more sense now. That explains why my stomach is killing me because of how hungry I am. It's because I haven't eaten for, like, six hours. <laughs> more chain tar targets. Okay. That's pretty good. Chance of a critical hit. Huh? Oh. Let's just go with movement range for now. I think this is good. Alright. 39 enemy. Yeah, see, though, so this is what I'm talking about. Oh my god, it's, like, lagging the game a little bit. Alright, getting that upgrade on Rabid Luigi was definitely the play. Right, can anyone kill these? Fear my one damage. All right, let's see. Yeah, we got quite the map ahead of us. I think for now, keep Luigi back. Take out some of these larger Goombas. Okay, what's the deal here? Nothing's killing him. 
Yeah, immune to damage from weapons and physical attacks. It must be launched outside the boundaries of the battlefield to be defeated. Okay, does anyone still have a dash? Rabid Peach and Rabid Luigi do. Boing! Rabbit Luigi over here with Rabbit Peach. Maybe like right here though. <laughs> Rabbit Luigi was definitely the play here. Now if I could just find someone to kill with Luigi, like that bob -omb. How strong can one cooking pot really be? Good lord. Alright, not a bad start. Most of the enemies are bob -ombs. In fact, I think literally every enemy is a bob -omb and a Goomba. So, multiple dashes and being able to knock enemies out of the map is good. Okay, so me giving Rabid Luigi the splash was probably the best bet. That works out. Oh, only two of those Goombas decided to move. They left their bud behind. Be able to get these three? Oh my god, me coming out of the pipe like botched it up. Coming through. Oh my god. Uh, I don't know when the novelty of their voices are gonna wear off, but for now I still love them. accidentally hit the guy I'm supposed to kill. Alright. Target in sight. Alright, get Steely Stare up. Not big on this rabid peach placement, not gonna lie. Gonna keep her back and see if I can maybe... Not bad, not bad. The damage boost Luma... Excuse me, Spark. I, I'm sorry, they look more like Lumas than they do like anything else. I feel like that's probably the least important one here, because pretty much everything dies in one hit. I guess I can't, uh... Well, I, you know what? I was going to say I can't kill the Goombas with a dash, but no, I just throw them off afterwards. Oh my god, their turn takes so long. There's so many of them. <laughs> Alright, immediately, I want to try and get that bob on there. Alright, there's those two down. Oh, 
I can hit five people with his ricochet? That's crazy. What is this one doing again? Ah! <laughs> I was hoping maybe... Oh! If I hit him with Splash once, he stays splashed. Okay. I was wondering how that one enemy got knocked off with a non-splash move earlier. I didn't really acknowledge it out loud, but now that makes more sense. I probably should not have come down here without a dash. Later, loser. Hmm. Yeah, not having a dash here is very problematic. What's the worst a Goomba could do, though? You know? Yeah. Luigi, definitely not the pit. Well... No, him being able to move down here is pretty nice. In fact, you know, yeah, those two Goombas are probably going to group up, group up on him, so that's fine. Can I hit anything that's not a hot Goomba? Nope. Ugh, this one's a little, little tedious, but it's not difficult. Oh, never mind. The Goombas two shot Luigi. Okay, don't let those get <laughs> near anyone. <laughs> Good lord. Uh-oh. Very carefully. I'm gonna need some rabid peach assistance. I'm gonna head back here so that Goomba can't get me. There's five enemies left. They're all pot Goombas. So we just gotta... Oh, I guess there's this one normal Goomba. So we just gotta dash into him. It is nice that there's no real punishment for losing one of your characters, but I do kind of wish you would get something for not losing anyone. I don't know what it would be, though. Alright, this should be it, if I'm not mistaken. Ooh, if Rabbit Peach can make it over there. Just barely. Excuse me. Woo! Those bastards were annoying, weren't they? I mean, I got a first try, though. Not bad. Not bad at all. It was pretty bad. Luigi died. I shouldn't have let that happen. You're alive. Well done. Uh, no thanks. I had my fill with the first challenge. I wonder what the skill prisms do. Oh, I know. The prisms are our... Oh, that's like the skill tree. 
I wonder what the big ones you get then are for. Unless it's literally just like, oh, you get enough of them to access the next level. Huh? Let's see. Beat the armor. Oh, was that not the armored Goomba? Oh, that's all the way over there. Bad to worse. Let's go get that spark. So, I don't know exactly how many worlds there are going to be. I'm going to assume four or five, probably, and each one's bigger than the last. We'll have to wait and see. Oh, you know what? I keep, I keep trying to mention, like, the DLC, but I keep, like, getting sidetracked last second. I'm very excited for it. Uh, the first game's DLC was pretty good, because you had... I mean, obviously there were things like weapons, like, oh man, weapons, great. I mean, at least in this game they would be weapon skins, so you would have a reason to use them. But uh, there was also a challenge mode, and those challenges were rough. And then lastly, there was the Donkey Kong DLC. Which was really, really, really good, because it was basically a second game. Like, it was long and packed full of content and everything. And I think they're doing a similar setup to this game. Because it's straight up said, you know, here, I have the, uh, I have the little slip. One sec. Yeah, because I did get the gold edition, so it came with a little download code. Yep. Uh -huh. yep. Yeah, new story yep. content, quests, uh -huh. battles, and yep. characters. And skins. <laughs> so I'm super pumped to see what they're going to do with all that. Because obviously, like, we already know Rayman is apparently coming. I'm hoping they don't limit you like the Donkey Kong DLC. Because the way that one worked, uh, you could only play with it in the DLC. Because you got Donkey Kong and you got Rabid Cranky Kong. And they were cool, don't get me wrong. That was a very fun DLC. But you only had those two and Rabid Peach. And you could only use those two there. And it was a bit of a shame because they were very fun. Granted, they were very overpowered, because they had to be, like, super crazy unique and strong, but they were fun. Alright, where was, uh... Where's the shop? This way, I think. But yeah, I do hope when the Rayman DLC happens. I hope we can use him in the main story. And it does say new characters. So maybe that means we could be getting like glow box as well. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Although granted, I, I wouldn't get my hopes up anytime soon because if I'm not mistaken on the eShop, it says that the final DLC isn't going to come out until 2024. <laughs> So, not, uh, not happening anytime soon. Alright, what do we have here? Okay, if it's just that, I'm gonna replace Rabbit Luigi with Rabbit Mario. And just shred him. You know what? Actually, hold on. I got a secondary idea. Replace Luigi with Peach. So I'll buff them with Rabbit Peach. I'll give him a shield with regular Peach, and then he'll use his spark, and he could just do it. Without any fear of anything bad happening. Oh, you know what? I bet that fifth skill tree is a second cooldown ability that you can unlock. Alright. Uh, then use this. 
Good lord. Big boy damage right there. I I'm glad I I've grown to like the sparks. I like them a lot. Cause when they when they did that showcase, I totally thought it was just going to be like the status effects and whatnot. I, I know I keep saying that, but it's it looked way more disappointing than it ended up becoming, and I'm very happy about that. Okay, we got a puzzle, it looks like. I heard Augie painted himself in a corner again. Help him save face by solving oh, the riddle. A talking fountain! We should solve the riddle. It might grant us a wish. Not quite. This looks like a scared one. No? Uh, it's giving a bit of a kissy face in this one. Let's see. Ah! The one with the heart. Eating in this one. So... The one with the shell? And then the last one is a book thing, and he's like... He's got a corn cob pipe and everything. There you go. Fancy. Oh my god, it's a Lolan Raichu! I must have it! Probably gonna have to fight another one of these eyeball things, aren't I? Oh, the trophy. Once this trophy smelled of copper nickel alloy and victory. Now it smells like flaming hot bacon and jalapeno pork crisps. Oh, that sounds amazing. I've actually never had a pork rind before. No idea what they taste like. All right, into Kablooey Hooey. Don't be another eyeball one. I'm not sure how I feel about the eyeball ones. Because it's more about rushing than it is about strategizing. Destroy the gate? Does the gate have a health bar? That poor spark is being held captive behind that barrier. Let's tear it down so we can rescue it. Not our first bob arm, Rodeo. Ah, throw them first, into the them. gate. Got Second, it. Second, pick them up. Third, throw them at the barrier. Repeat until desired result. Gotcha. Throw eight bob bombs into the gate. Uh, definitely want Rabbit Peach because of her dashes. In fact, I think we could get her another one. Ah, oh, no, I need one more. Actually, you can get multiple, can't you? You can. Let's look at some of the things that Edge can get. Make her flying blade bigger by a whole meter? Good lord! Each hit gives you a damage percent increase. More range. Crit chance. Okay. Okay. What can she do with her dash? Okay, so Edge is definitely all about just chaining enemies, getting enemies in straight lines. Got it, got it. Oh, whoops. Okay, I definitely want Rabbit Peach and Edge just because they have multiple dashes so they can do multiple bob bombs.
then who can move the most is the next question. Probably Mario. Ah, here we go. Okay, I saw them do this in the trailer. I was wondering when I was going to get to do that. Okay, yeah, so now I can stomp off of a bob -omb and go even farther. Cool. Uh, I know the Mega Bug ones are supposed to be thematic, because that's like the final boss of the last game, but I like the Galactic Weapons so much more. All right, if, didn't I give Luigi another bow? Oh, no, I didn't. Oh, well. All right, mission, show me what you got. And then sparks don't really matter for this mission, it doesn't look like. Uh, that's problematic. Right. Okay, there are still enemies here. So gotta keep that in mind. Right, I gotta remember, her whole thing is like, if I dash into someone, I can go further. Crit, maybe? Ah. Yeah, I think I need to play with Edge more. I think I'll like her more the more I use her. Alright. I don't want to use anything like Hero Sight because that'll just detonate the bob -ombs. That would be dumb. I didn't even see that enemy there. Whoops. Don't. All right, and that's probably going to spawn more bob bombs, which will be nice. I do like the unique wind conditions. Oh, whoops. First game only really had, like... What were they? It was just, like, get to the area was one of them. You had, obviously, kill all the enemies. And then the last one was, like, escort a toad. And those were the worst ones. By a mile. It, they were not... It's not even that they weren't fun. They just weren't interesting. Oh, I thought Rabbit Peach could dash multiple times. I guess not. One and done. Picked. Yeah! All right, three more. Okay. <laughs> Actually, two more. Off you go. Make it her in position. We just gotta wait for more bob -ombs and we're good. Just dead. If more bob -ombs spawn, that is. Okay. I think I'm getting a little bit more than I asked for, but this'll work. Oh, yeah. 
hoping I can angle this right. Sorry, Peach. <laughs> Bro, they look so scared when you get the killing blow on them. It makes me sad. <laughs> makes me not want to do it. Now we just wait for bob to approach. Really? That hit. How many more bob we, we only need one more, right? I could probably just get it with Mario there. Sorry, Edge. That's a neat condition. I don't know how often I would want them to use it, but I, I thought that was neat. I liked it. Puddles used to be fun to play in, you know. I'm Electro Dash. Thanks for rescuing me. Want to get my second win, and we'll get going. There's that little Breath of the Wild piano jingle thing. So does this let me run farther? All dashes deal 142 damage. And deal shock to no idea what shock does. why those coins were there. Neat. Alright. I'm probably getting just about ready to wrap it up. But maybe if there's like one more small thing we could do real quick, we could go ahead and do it. Yay! Overall, like, I feel like I don't really need to sum up my thoughts just because like I'm, I'm very clearly having a wonderful time with it. I... Uh, it's very different than what I expected, but I mean that in a very positive way. Like, I already liked the first game well enough. I think this improves on just about everything. It's pretty good. Alright, I forgot about the one over here. I totally pressed the A button, by the way. Uh, like, like the battles are way more fun. I like that it's still kind of grid-based, but not fully. The levels feel way less... I don't know if stilted is the right word, but... Or generic. No, not generic either. That's just rude. Okie dokie. I don't know. They just feel more special. Even though they still have that gritty-like layout. Like, excuse me, layout. I really hope... I can't, I really hope, like, I just, I'm excited to see, like, how will they expand on everything. I hope it just gets better and better and better. And I'm really excited to see. I don't know if they'll do it, but the first game did have a multiplayer mode, like a PvP mode. Which, I mean, hey, Bob, if you ever get a Switch emulator working, I'll do some rabbits PvP with you. <laughs> Uh, in that game, that was fun. I never got to play it much. I think I only ever got to do it, like, once. But it was neat. It was interesting, and it was cool. Okay. I don't really have anyone that can help us here, so I think we just try and take care of those rabbits up there. Okay. Okay. <laughs> That's not... I didn't think it was going to automatically target him. 
Come on. All right, you get up there, Edge. does kind of miss the status effects being built into the weapons a little bit. Because in the first game, it, it would be like every weapon would have a status effect, and if you land a critical hit, like, then that's what causes like the status effect to happen. Also, I just realized I don't actually need to kill the enemies. The win condition is just living a certain amount of rounds. Oh, Mario's gonna... Okay. Whew. I really underestimate Pot Goombas. Good lord. I'll be fine. Don't. Seriously? Uh, if I knew that was the win condition, I probably would have picked Peach. I probably would have just gone rabbit peach and peach, but it's too late now. Hmm? Alright, Mark is fine for now, just... He'll be okay. For now, clear out the area. And just get Rabbit Peach near him. Uh, and just wait for her heal cooldown and we'll be good. You know what? This whole, like... More distance every time you dash into someone. This is pretty nice. Crit. Really? You're gonna give me the special zoom in and not even give me a crit? How dare. I'm gonna Stormblade and hope maybe it could just fly in a straight line into those scro Not Scrooges. Stooges. Black holes are probably going to start showing up. We'll have to wait and see. Oh, I got a pretty good dash being set up here. Yep. I can take care of that easily. Uh, Mario. No target in range. Can I not break this one? I will say, something that is kind of strange that I'm only just now noticing, you only have one weapon in this game. Uh, first game, you had, every character had two weapons. Which I guess did add to like, like that's probably why there were so many repeat weapons and why some characters felt a bit pointless. But, interesting thing to think about. Does she have her Luma? Anyone else? All right, get you some of your health back. Feeling bad, literally. All right, well, that's just gonna spawn an enemy no matter what. I'm getting Mario out of there. Don't do that. That's problematic. 
come on. They're basically right. Oh. Nice. Rabbit Peach kind of sounds like... Oh my god, her name's right on... Christina V. Maybe that's why I like it so much, because it sounds like her. <laughs> no good. Oh my god, I think it might be. I, I really need the IMDB to like be official and updated. up a little bit for now. Up you go. Not too many terms left, but you never know when they're just going to pull out new Let's stuff. Play. Is it just more Goombas? Okay, then there's nothing to be scared of. If they're only going to spawn Goombas, I don't care. Oh, I'm about to get such a satisfying dash off. I wonder if I can get all four. Nah. Oh my god, because I landed two dashes, I can run so far. Okay, so Edge is definitely the run around and position wherever you want kind of character. Just because you, if you can keep chaining dashes, you can just be anywhere. Who's going to stop you? They're clearly not. the only one, I think. Yeah, that's a pretty good ability, and it just gets bigger. Okay, yeah, I, I I definitely need to use Edge more. That's really good. I like that. I like it a lot. Watch it be completely useless later in the game. <laughs> So the whole, like, surviving so many waves, like, a little iffy, but it wasn't bad. It was just kind of lengthy. The fact that I have to reposition three heroes constantly, you know? Although it, I did also kill the enemies, like, every round, so maybe I shouldn't have been doing that. But you get so many star bits by just throwing them off, you know? Thank you. Blueprints. Huh? Vintage Disruptor. Oh, it's a rabid Luigi skin. Cool. What you got for me, Turtle Man? Beacon Beach has provided me the opportunity to observe more of the Rabbids' strange but effective architecture. Take the lighthouse here. Its bonfire, when operational, dissipates clouds. It also serves as dry storage for Augie, the warden here, 
who imports a great deal of fruit from Pallet Prime in sturdy wooden crates. Fruit, which I assume is used solely to make pies and other desserts. Analysis reveals that stooges are among the most common minions in Curse's service. Alone, they are not a menace, but are dangerous in groups. Oh, trust they me, I've, I've figured that out. They're more dangerous if they have a red hood on them. Genetic makeup. The Dark Mess's ability to create mutations appears far more advanced than the Megabug. Should I worry? Emotions are as mysterious to me as our enemy is formidable. Ah, uh, Goomba lore. Goombas are even more menacing under Curse's supervision. Thankfully, they are still Goombas. A single dash can hit multiples of them. Yet Curse's cunning is always present. Some of them wear dark mess infused cooking pots that make them immune to weapons or physical attacks. Only by launching them outside the boundaries of the battlefield can they be defeated. Yeah, they're pretty agitating when they have those pots on their heads. Alright. I want to look a tiny bit longer for something to get rid of that one eyeball. I won't lie, I won't play on this profile, but I might make a new save file and just replay this whole world again today. I, I'm really liking it. There's gotta be something I can use to throw at that eyeball. Usually you need, like, the black egg. Oh, you know what? I bet, I bet if you beat this, it's what lets you do it. Uh, yeah, it, it's pretty much everything I wanted and more. And we don't even have all the characters yet. I think a big reason I'm enjoying it so much is because they just straight up gave you six characters right off the bat and then immediately a seventh. Because you already get so much variety to play with, you know? Uh, actually, I'm going to go Luigi, Edge, and Peach here. How much is it to heal? Okay, it looks like every time you buy the heal, it just gets more and more expensive. Oh yeah, thanks, Dad, Luigi. So I don't want to like keep doing that this early into the game, assuming I'm understanding it properly. Are there any enemies alive? Okay, they're all over there. Oh, good lord, it's those. Okay. So my hope is... Make them invincible with Peach. And then Peach can just kind of, like, hang out here, I guess. Definitely wants Steely Eye. Come on. Nice. Don't want to kill them just yet, but definitely want to get them low. Well, I forgot I did steal I <laughs> steely eye. <laughs> oh, Peach is gonna take damage for that. Uh, she'll be fine. Okay. My hope is to use... Uh-oh, oh, that might not be enough. Oh, that's bad. Yeah, my hope is to use Luigi's absurd walking range. 
to help get the other two around. And then eventually, if I can get Edge to just dash into one of those guys, we can just instantly get to the end. No problem. Bullseye. What? Why'd you give me the fancy slow-mo then? No! <laughs> Alright, I think I have to hang out up here. Just because I don't want to risk Edge dying. Well, she has 1,200 health. You know, I'll, I'll risk it. Take that! Any of them... Oh, I don't have it. Alright. I think if I'm especially lucky and they come down into melee range... Oh, she's totally dead, probably. <laughs> Sorry, Edge. I didn't think they'd do that much. I think we do this. We get Luigi over to this staircase, and then we just win. Oh my god, I almost messed that up. Oh, please? Yeah! I got a little too close there with those last two. Because I easily could have, like, 100% guaranteed it, but I tried to rush. Phew! Thank you, thank you. No, so this isn't how you get the thing. How do we open up that gate? I wonder if I need the ability to, like, dig up those glowy ah. spots. <laughs> Alright, well, I think that's enough hanging out in the first world. I'm gonna look at the cutscene for the second world, assuming there is one, and then I do think I am gonna call it because I've probably played far too much for one session. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I have almost played more Mario plus Rabbids than I did Elden Ring for my first session. Oh, here we go. Okay, so assuming that that planet at the end is like the final boss, yeah, it looks like there's probably like four worlds. Like one, two, three. And then you could probably fit two more between the third one. All right, so I'll probably end up doing like a world, a session. It depends on how long they get, because in Mario Plus Rabbids, they got pretty long by the end. Especially in the Donkey Kong DLC. They were like a couple hours each. Pristine peaks. Nothing warms the heart and awakens the senses like its crisp, fresh snowfalls. And the sound of hot cocoa mugs clanking together over hearty laughter at spirited outdoor fondue parties. Atmospheric scans indicate that its temperature has plummeted. It is now a frozen, dark mess infested wasteland. Okay, but what about the fondue parties? Where ice caves rife with danger offer little shelter from treacherous climbs through steep mountain cliffs. I feel like the important stuff is being ignored right now, Genie. Also, fondue pots are difficult to clean and a major cause of serious burn injury. No! Not the fondue parties! <laughs> Plus one for their annual Ragnar Rail Rider Snowboard Festival. Ragnar? Ragnar? The hell's a Ragnar? I think Beepo got a thesaurus between games, because he's just... He's very wordy. <laughs> oh, this place looks awesome. Oh my god, there's the were-rabbit looking thing from the trailer. As 
because my analysis confirms this winter wonderland feels more like a winter wasteland. Yeah, you kind of went over that in the ship, Genie. There is a dark mess tentacle north of us in the mountains, the likely source of this misery inducing blizzard. All right. Polar bear swim. <laughs> Stay put, rabbit Luigi. <gasps> there will be a warden here somewhere, as with Augie on Beacon Beach. But so far, I can detect no sign of them. Oh, this is gonna be the uh, the sailor man. However, I can confirm there is a life form hidden in that tree, and not one of darkness energy either. Oh, Spark, come here. Now let's check on them anyhow. Maybe they know where to find one of those luxury outdoor barrel saunas I heard about. Ooh, this place is a little laggy. I don't know if it shows up on stream very well, though. Maybe if you give a tree a good shake, you can free that poor little fella. Hey, bud. They are adorable. Lethal, but adorable. Wow. Decibel? What kind of name is Decibel? Ah, yes, yes, we can hear you just fine, so you know. Sorry, is it okay if I come with you? I'm not much good in a fight, but I can do other stuff. I have sonic power, strong enough to move heavy objects, even destroy things sometimes. We saw firsthand at Beacon Beach how useful a spark's abilities are. However... Okay, so this is how Beepo gets his upgrades then. <laughs> that tickles! Oh! And I have sonic powers now! That has to be Jess Harnell. There's no way it isn't. If I can use my new sonic powers to... Sorry, that's loud. Let me try again. That bridge! If I can use my new sonic powers to knock it down, it'll be our ticket to the top of the mountain! Yeah, so pretty much how it worked in the first game was like... After every world, Beemo got an upgrade. Beemo! Beep... Beep-o! I'll get his name right the first try eventually. Uh, what did you get? You got pushing blocks, lifting objects, and I think the third one was... Oh, what was it? Was it digging? I don't think it was. I think that's maybe this game's thing. But at the same time, digging sounds right, so I'm gonna go with digging. Talk about a useful spark. Yeah. Neat. Now I can break things. Alright, well, as much as I would love to go into the frozen wasteland and see what the game has to offer next, I... I, I can't allow myself to just, like, play this for, like, eight hours. I shouldn't. Uh, it is very tempting, though. Like I said, I might just make a second profile and just replay the first world. I don't know what it is. Because I don't think it's, like, the XCOM combat that I'm in love with. I think it really is just the fact that I think the style of the game is really charming. I think the combat is simple but effective and fun. I, I will say, I don't think it's nearly as fun to watch. Because I have watched, like, a couple playthroughs of the first game just to see people's reactions to things. I don't think it's all too exciting to watch. But it's very fun to play and think about it all. But yeah, it's... Everything I wanted and more. And I couldn't be happier about that. And it's probably going to be one of my favorite games that comes out in the whole year. And I'm excited to see... How Bowser plays and how Rabbit Rosalina plays. Because I expected Rabbit Rosalina to be, like, the first character you get, honestly. She was in all the advertising. And, uh, you know what? It just occurred to me. 
if the DLC is going to have multiple characters, maybe they'll bring back the two Yoshis, but this time with more interesting and fun movesets. That'd be rad. In fact, I remember when this game first got announced, my prediction was the Yoshis weren't here because they were going to get their own DLC. And it was going to be like Yoshi, Rabid Yoshi, and Rabid Poochie trying to do stuff with Bowser Jr. That was my guess, because Bowser Jr. wasn't in the trailers either. Alright. Uh, maybe if there's a shop nearby, I could hit that real quick, just to see what this one has. Oh, you know what? If there were five keys on the collectible menu, and there's like one key in each world... And yeah, there's probably five worlds. Maybe cold on pristine peaks, but the savings are hot! Because when the thermostat drops, so do my prices. Say, you look like shoppers of refined discernment. Not like the usual bumpkins I get in here. If value were a reticulated python, they wouldn't recognize it if it swallowed them whole! Ha! When you factor in the cost of supply chain distribution in this environment, it's like you're picking my pocket. It's almost like you're sticking me up. Uh, seriously, no, don't don't stick me up, please. You got money, right? <laughs> Damn, Rabbit Mario with the weapon skins. This is like his fourth one. I like that one. That one's pretty cool. A road for Edge. Rustic umbrella for Peach and Rabbit Luigi. Okay, those are pretty neat. Huh? Immunity for three turns. Oh, only super effects. Okay, that makes more sense. Uh, maybe they want you to use the items, but I'm going to try my best to only really use mushrooms. We'll see. But yeah. I, I had a lot of fun with this. Rabbit Mario is easily the best character. I will say, the only negative thing I have to say, not big on the logo. Like, the Mario Plus Rabbids looks fine. I don't like that the, the little star in Sparks of Hope slashes through the whole thing. That looks weird to me. I don't know, I can't describe it. Oh my god, we're only 16% done. I will say, I do intend on 100%ing the game. I don't know if I'll stream me 100%ing it. We'll have to wait and see. But yeah, I, I played this for probably far longer than I should have, but I don't regret it in the slightest. So yeah, I, I hope y'all enjoyed watching as much as I enjoyed playing it, and I hope we can play a ton more soon. Although, next stream, probably gonna start up Bayonetta 2, because Bayonetta 3 comes out in six days. Good lord. And if Sonic Frontiers comes out, like what? Two to three weeks after that. There's so many games coming out that I want to play. It's ridiculous. But yeah. I I can't wait to do more. And I, I hope we get Bowser very soon. Because I'm really excited to play as him. I love Bowser. And I want to run around in the hub world as him. Uh, we'll see. <laughs>